Oh my god. Oh my god, Nia Medusa. Holy crap. Oh, well, you had to leave. Nia Medusa said it the foghorn in chat. Yeah. The other two are coming. This is where things get sticky. Not, not the good kind of sticky. Like a cinnamon bun. I didn't know where I was going with that. <laughs> Chunk chew. Where are you? Come on home and get this big old stew. Big old stew? Big old stew. Chunk a chew? I choose you. You're the only one that can carry us through. So come on home and get this big old stew. Chunk a chew? We choose you. You are the glue that will hold us too. Chunk a chew? How could you? We'll have to call your brothers too. Funkachu, Hunkachu, Munkachu, Crunkachu, <laughs> Grunkachu, Lunkachu, <laughs> Skunkachu, because you know they'll want that big old stew. I think that's all I got. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no. Daddy. All right, everybody, have a great night. I'm going to be completely honest, so you guys know this is not a confession I should make. But if there's ever like a solid week where I'm like, nah, I'm not, I'm not. Some, there's something wrong with my camera. I don't, I don't, I don't know what's going on. There's something wrong with my camera. Um, I probably accidentally shaved. <laughs> Just know that's a possibility. We'll jump. We'll be. We'll. St the moderator for your channel is an Eevee. Well, Eevees are amazing. I love. Eevee. It is definitely the <laughs> In what world is Toast what? silent? What? Have you ever seen Red Ass Toast Fusion? Have you ever seen Nacho Libre? Yeah. No. Have you seen the scene where he's eating toast and it's the loudest thing? Oh, 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 oh. Well, see, see here's Go the difference. Sing. I eat raw toast. Oh, so you just eat bread? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thing all you see is he's running novels himself get him all the section one that sounds wrong wait no I mean seconds <laughs> seconds S E C S <laughs> Oh, what the fuck is that? No, 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 what the fuck is that? 
No, no, no! Oh no, hotline. Hotline. That's a death sentence, Hotline. Wait, he just whacked me in the head and it didn't hurt me. Oh, alright, well, he just missed me for five seconds. I'm so sorry, Hotline, but, um... That was not on me. You, you saw that. You saw him whack me square in the head. And me just stand there and take it. I've got that iron scalp. shit show you ready for this shit show let me tell you a story about a real sore booty and how i got flipped upside down you see it starts with a chair that just couldn't compare and made me feel like a real clown but along came this bunch who f followed a hunch and did all they could to astound Okay, we found out she's 18. Canonically, she's 18. It's, it's fine. It's fine. We looked it up. That's important information to have. <laughs> oh my god. Don't kill my big cock. Please don't take that out of context. <laughs> <laughs> well, I had trouble. I struggled. <laughs> I str it's garbage. Thank you for asking. Oh, I didn't have one. So. And I, all I saw was Billy Ritz throbbing and veiny. I didn't see anything that followed it and anything that that came before it. And I was like, I don't know what's going on in chat. What did that get? What did that get? But Wyatt, if, uh, if Pokemon's your thing this weekend, you're going to be very happy because we're going to be... Oh my god! What the fuck was that? not intend for this look like a penis. I should have realized in the process of trying to make a sentient hot dog, I was probably going to make it look like a penis. I didn't think about that, but um... That's the equivalent of getting really into me with a cow. Just like throating that tongue. <laughs> I 
I said it, not you. <laughs> this has been a little bit of a, of a, a more focused stream. I'm actually concentrating on trying to do well. Are you kidding me? Pirates is, like for me. Is, is eating oatmeal something pirates do a lot of? It is. All, all my Reese's pieces. Somebody pick them up. I don't know, May. What about what about that that beastly dildo? <laughs> Did I ever think the day would come when I would be on on camera? And I would speak the words beastly dildo. Hey everybody, welcome on in. Welcome to a very, a very exciting evening. It's the evening that you've all been waiting for. Well, some of you have been waiting for. It is Chat Writes a Story number three, the third one, the, the, the chattening, the completion of the trilogy. Bard! Thank you so much for the, the six month sub. Sweet potato. That, wait, did, did I plan? Did I plan Chat Writes a Story for exactly six months after we, we first met over the first Chat Writes a Story? There's no way I planned it that perfectly. That's crazy if I did. Brady! Okay, it wasn't exact, alright? I was gonna say, that would be so freaking crazy if this were the exact date that we had Chat Writes a Story six months ago. Brady, how are you, my friend? How's everybody doing? Carly, welcome on in. How are you, Allie? I heard your walk-on play. Allie, how are you doing? Who else do we have? We had Orange. <gasps> Rat oh, Rat Lord Allie. Allie. Just five packs. I haven't even had a chance to talk about the special promo that I'm running tonight, which is uh, because there are chat rates of story cards in the regular stream loots pack, anyone that purchases packs to try and get those, those chat rates of story card will get... Uh, essentially buy one get one free pack so you bought five packs and i'm gonna send you five packs Allie. so that's for just today just tonight's stream during the chat rates of story event um so you're gonna get an additional five packs headed right back your way um but for anyone that doesn't know we have done this really cool event oops i only sent one i'm gonna send four more we have done this really cool event where chat basically takes the reins um, over over the course of of a stream and I just let check a wild and they write a story the last one was for Halloween we did a Halloween story um, we did just a random story back in March March or May whatever six months ago was was when we did the first one Halloween was the last one we did the Halloween story the first one I think was March or May it was somewhere in that somewhere around there march may april april may march april may maybe i should go in order <laughs> but uh so this will be the third the third opportunity and very shortly i'll pull up everything on the screen i'll be able to to walk everyone through how it's gonna work um so that it's i mean it's pretty it's pretty easy i do want to make sure everything is working because the the program that we use has a tendency to go into like hibernation mode if I leave it open for a while. So I'm actually going to get it started right now and get that set up so that we don't have... I, I remember last time we had the issue where I got everything set up beforehand and it had like timed out because of how long I'd let it sit without, um, without doing any of like the test stuff. So like disconnected. But we have this cool program. And I'm gonna show it in just a hot sec, as I think. I think it should be. Bard Owl has purchased 20 packs. Bard Owl, holy shit! Holy shit, Bard Owl, regular pal. Okay, you got 20 packs headed back your way. Also, if some folks don't mind typing any almost anything in the chat, just so I can make sure that the program is working correctly. There you go, Bard. All right, it is working correctly. It is working correctly. Okay. Thank you for everyone that typed, including Nightbot. Um, but 
there will oh wait no that's the that's the raise energy one there will be a message going around about the buy one get one free event so if anyone picks up packs tonight you get however many packs you buy you get that many free oh i fi i sent them already flannel i'm sorry but yeah anybody um like flannel or apple if, once we get into it if you're if you're hanging around um i didn't realize you were here yet flannel i'm sorry also how are you flannel how are you doing <gasps> Geeky Dolphin, how are you? Oh yeah, we got we've got stream loots, Dolphin. Um, we've got seven different decks, but the cards for the chat rates of story are only in the main deck. So they're in the one that's just like Jay Chili's stream loot cards. It does apply to all decks. So if you pick up a different deck, you'll get you'll get that deck for free. So it's it's all decks this evening, just for this evening though. Oh, look at that glizzy. Look at that glizzy. Hang on, I may have missed. You were able to save up 3,000 points in time for this. What did I... What did I miss? That Brady redeemed. Bardow has redeemed oh, a common I didn't, holiday. I didn't pack. get the, pack, the packs over to Brady. I completely missed those. I'm sorry. Uh, oh, a common holiday pack. There is your common pack. Bardell redeemed an epic oh, holiday an epic. loot box. Oh, you've been either you've been saving these or you just got all of these. <laughs> oh, an epic one's really good. I may have to make the legendary ones more common because nobody has gotten one of the legendary gift boxes yet. Bardell redeemed a free stream loot pack. Free stream loot pack, you got it. Whoa, okay. Things are popping off. All right, I sent Bard that pack. You just got them. <gasps> you didn't realize you had other ones. Hell yeah. You're so confused. You have... Oh, no, Dolphin, that's not, tr that's not true. That's not true. Holy shit, Carly. Holy shit, those are chaos packs. Okay, holy shit. That's a lot of packs. Carly, you absolute legend. Holy sweet potatoes. There you go, you got another 50 Chaos Packs that headed your way. Allie Enjoy opening all those packs. Loot packs. And five for Ally. Okay. So after this, I am going to click over to the scene with all the beans. Oh no! <laughs> I'm going to click over to the chat right to story scene. Has redeemed a common holiday loot oh, box. Common. You got it. Alright, so here we have our wonderful... I mean, it's just a blank canvas right now. But this is going to be our wonderful story. Uh, I'm going to make myself... i make myself a tiny bit bigger for this stream. I'm usually real tiny. Bardell redeemed five free stream loot packs. Oh shit, okay, this is a lot. This is a lot. There's your common holiday pack. Thank you so much, Apple. I really appreciate it. Oh shit. This may have been this may have been a poor decision. <laughs> this may have been a poor decision. <laughs> this may have been a poor decision. Alright. So on the screen here, we have as soon as Streamlitz goes away, we have our, our canvas. This is our blank canvas. Oh, here comes Edward something. Else. Redeemed five free stream oh packs. shit, this may have been a mistake. <laughs> Mistakes were made! <laughs> <laughs> um so we have our canvas this is our our blank oh here we go here we go again oh no oh no mistakes were made mistakes were made i'm not i'm not gonna i'm not sending out any packs until we go through the tutorial of what we're doing everyone <laughs> I'm not I'm not clicking back over until we go through the tutorial of how chat rates a story works. <laughs> Holy Dolphin crap! 47 redeemed five free stream loot Kiki packs. Dolphin got one. Was that your first pack, Dolphin? And you got a five free stream loot pack? Holy shit. Okay. So the way this works is um you can see in the top what corner? It's gonna be the that 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 top top corner over I don't know where I'm pointing. Over there. <laughs> Um, that little thing that says chat cleared, this nifty little thing records everything. <gasps> Milkitos! Has purchased 30 packs. 
This records everything. Thank you so much, Melgitos. You freaking legend. You're going to get another 30 free packs. Um, so if someone would be so kind as to type into chat, or multiple individuals would be so kind as to type into chat. All right, so you see it updated. Now it says three messages. The cool thing with this is once we get started and once once chat is writing some entries for us for the story, um, all I have to do is pause it and hit draw, and it's going to draw a random message from chat. It's going to draw a random message from one of you. So the way it's going to work is first we're going to pick our setting. Next, we're going to pick our characters, and I think we're going to stick to what happened last time, was we picked, like, ten characters. <laughs> Apple! <gasps> Apple, you freaking legend. Last time we picked, I think it was ten characters, and that was way too many. It was way too many, and then we kept introducing more characters as the night went on. So I think tonight, we're going to stick with, we're going to start with just two characters. We haven't written anything, Bray. There's nothing to boo yet. We're going to start with two. And then we'll, like, open with two characters. <laughs> and then you can add whoever you... This is a free-for-all. This is not Halloween. <laughs> this is this is not a Halloween-themed or anything-themed. You can go anywhere. <gasps> you got your first little... Oh, I think you're the first one that's gotten one, Carly. I'm pretty sure. I've been checking the little nitro. I think you're the first one that's gotten one. It is the rarest card in the pack. It is the absolute rarest card in the pack. So you got the first one. Uh, you need you need four to redeem it, and then we'll do a special event little Nitro stream, which is, that makes me nervous. Because <laughs> considering how hot these beans are, it makes me real nervous. Because I, I remember when Billy did the little Nitro challenge, and afterwards he told us that he could feel, like, the mass of little Nitro just, like, moving through his body because that's how spicy it was. The day you get all the fragments is the day you stop buying packs. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh oh <laughs> I'll have to find something new to keep everyone hooked at that point okay you'll make sure to start with the stupidest characters oh no <laughs> um all right so oh Apple thank you so much I really appreciate it there were so many if anybody didn't get their packs I I'm trusting you if anybody didn't get their packs please let us know because there were a lot of redeems. Um, it was very hard to keep track and try and go through the tutorial. So if anyone did not get their cards um, for either playing a card, redeeming a card, or if you purchased packs. Uh, if you purchase packs, you should get the same number of packs back for free tonight. Because we're doing like buy one, get one free packs. Um, so here's what we're going to start with though. Because we need, we need two. Two very important factors. We need a setting. Before we even get to the characters... Because who knows? The setting might might dictate the type of story you want to write. This is your story, chat. This is not my story. You're writing this story. I'm just along for the ride tonight. Tonight is like my evening to just relax and hang out. You're writing a story. Um, so let's start with what our say. Where would you like the story to take place? I'm going to start. Uh, 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 uh. Where is it? Okay. I am going gonna, gonna to clear. I'm gonna clear the the chat, the, the reader for chat, and I am gonna start it again. So what what you need to do now, chat, is just type in some locations, some settings into chat. It's gonna get recorded up here. I'll give it a couple minutes to to pick up your responses, and then I think we'll pick. If we have enough, we'll pick three, and then we'll do a poll. We'll do a poll to see where. And you can't submit more than one. Don't submit the same thing more than once. You can submit more than one, more than one different thing. Uh, don't go crazy overboard because we want everyone to have a chance to, to get their their entries in. But um, just, you know, at your discretion. At your discretion, submit, you know, whatever you feel is comfortable. Oh, Freddy Fazbear's Mega Pizza. Fardell has Fardell, packs. You absolute legend. You played a, a card for five? Hell yeah, I'll get that sent over to you, Melgitos. All right, there you go, Melgitos. You got those five headed your way. So we'll give it a couple minutes. We'll let them. We'll let them build. 
We'll let them build up. Oh, yeah. redeemed an epic oh, hell yeah. Loot box. Hell yeah, Mongito. I really like Flannel's house. <laughs> this is gonna be this is gonna be real interesting if it ends up being a flannel's house. There is your epic holiday loot box, Melgitos. Oh, Blue Light Pikachu has a moon palace. Oh, oh no, in my sketchbook. <laughs> that sounds like a bad time. I sent the others over, Apple. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. As soon as I saw them blowing up, I was like, shit, I'm not going to be able to keep track of these. So I'm, I'm I, I, I honestly, I really appreciate you, Apple. Thank you so much for helping out. And also Flannel. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Oh, Geeky Dolphins jamming out with us. I appreciate it. Yeah, this is Twin Leaf Town. It's uh, a mix by Game Chops. The wonderful Game Chop. Oh, shit. Melgidos is coming in hot with the stream loot packs for all. All right. Let's say we we go for do we have oh we're at 35 Holly messages 51, oh a spicy wants bean. You okay. to eat a spicy bean so keep typing potential settings if anyone has anywhere else they'd like it to take place um and i'll spin the wheel i'll spin the wheel for us for the spicy bean. Oh, that's a jalapeno Holly bean. 51, 23 wants to recall oh, no. their last played card. Oh no, okay. That's a jalapeno bean. There it is. <laughs> oh no. Type I think the jalapeno one's the worst. Game five free stream loot pack. I think the jalapeno one is the... Oh! Oh, it's so hot. Oh! Just eat another bean? Okay. Oh! Oh, it's so hot. And spoiler, I have not gone to the store to get milk yet. I'm gonna go tomorrow. Oh, that's a- oh, so the sriracha one's not that bad. If I can find the sriracha one and not the other one, because they look identical. I feel like the sriracha is a troll, because both the habanero and the sriracha look exactly the same. Oh, I think that's the Sriracha. I think I lucked out. I think I lucked out. Oh, I think I lucked out. Oh. I don't... I'm still <laughs> spicy from the other one. Mmm. Bard, I'll set them right now. Oh, no! <laughs> I'll set them right now, Bard. 20 packs. Oh. Oh. oh, another bean. Okay. My mouth. My poor mouth tonight. He just don't want me to have taste buds after this. Oh. Oh, no. That's another jalapeno. Oh, no. It's another jalapeno. Oh. oh no. Oh no, it's so spicy. Oh no, it's so spicy. Oh. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna draw oh god, it's so spicy. We're gonna draw three places. Oh flannel's house, thank goodness. I'm gonna make a poll. I make a poll. If it's something that's not a location, um, we'll just pass over it. So, setting? Flannel's house. Oh, it's so spicy. Okay, draw another one. My apartment. So, Carly? Carly's apartment? Oh. Okay. Wow. I don't know, was was that was that a setting submission? I'm I'm taking it as one because I like Lavender Town. Lavender Town. Whew. Okay. Three minute poll starting now. Oh my mouth is so spicy. 
I already got a new tablet. Fans are watching you right now. Oh, I know. They're watching me with like my mouth. There's like, this is this campfire. I'm pointing the wrong. That campfire over there. That is produced by my breath right now. My hot, spicy breath. I think they were talking about the music too, but I like Lavender Town. So <laughs> I like Lavender Town. So I'm going with it. Thank you. We've leveled up. Oh, there's a real, there's a real, there's a real battle going on between Flannel's house and Carly's apartment. <laughs> oh, Mount Guidos, yes. There is, there is a promo um, going right now for loot. So if you buy any loot packs tonight, you get however many you purchase back for free. So it's essentially buy one, get one free stream loot packs. Oh no, oh no, Lavender Town. What's happening? What's happening? It was neck and neck with Flannel's house. I looked away for a second, and now it's Carly's apartment. Oh, Lavender Town's pulling it. Oh my god. Oh my god. We're, 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 chat's writing a story, Goose. Chat's right. Right now, we're voting on where the setting of our story is going to be. Yeah, someone is absolutely. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll get them sent over, Melgitos. Oh, 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 well. There we go. So that's the benefit to buying stream loot packs, is there are cards in there to uh, to influence the the choices. And there we go. Ratlord Alley has purchased five packs. Oh, Alley! I'm sending those out over right now. Your bonus ones, Alley. Thank you so much. Five packs. Um, so unfortunately, the poll is now null and void because the wonderful Bard Al played a. Can you veto it? You can, if you have the card. If you have the card, you can veto it. Absolutely, you can you can sway any decision. I'm gonna start I'm gonna start typing Carly's apartment, but if anyone else were to veto it, we'd have to change it because the poll is not finished yet. These are Play the battles they like. Insists upon their story response. Oh, well what was your so I don't know what your story response was. That one's for us picking exactly what you put. So that's not, unfortunately, that's not one to sway a poll decision. But I can send that back to you. You can use that later on. That one specifically, once we start uh, writing lines, to uh, have us auto pick your line. So the uh, sway a decision one is specifically for. Um, for when we do polls. So we'll do some more polls throughout the evening. We might even do one for characters up next. Ratlord Alley redeemed the free stream loot pack. So, okay, we got Carly's apartment. Carly, how do you feel about this? We need a first hand account of how you feel about uh, No no um Bard Bard played a card to Bard played a card to sway the sway the vote. So the the poll Unfortunately, as soon as Bard played that card, the poll became null and void. That's the that's the benefit to the stream loot cards during this event. Thank you so much, Apple. All right, so we've got Final our setting. Source wants to change a single oh. word in the story. Oh, what word would you like to change? <laughs> what word do you, would you like to change? <laughs> I did send Brady's card back, yes. Underwater Palace! Oh! Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. Carly's Underwater Palace. The battle has begun. Alright, so here's what we need next. I'm gonna clear... I'm gonna clear our responses. We need characters! We need characters, chat! I'm gonna start drawing from chat. Give us some characters! We're gonna do two... Two to start, um, and we'll you can add whoever you want later on. So we'll start with two characters, which the story will open up with those two characters. So type in characters as many as you can think of. Don't spam the same character. Um, go crazy. We'll let it go for a couple minutes, and then we'll draw. We'll draw a card. Oh, Ultra Pocket Coon. Oh no, it comes full circle. It comes full circle to Ultra Pocket Coon. If Ultra Pocket Coon ends up in it, I may have to go get the drawing I did of Ultra Pocket Coon and put it on the screen like we had 
we had Miyazaki on the screen <laughs> during the first chat. Writes the story. Oh, Keanu Reeves, <gasps> Daddy Freddy. <laughs> oh, Daddy Freddy will just call us a superstar all the time. Boyfriend from Friday Night Funk. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Ash Ketchum! Oh. Oh, Ash Ketchum. The L Block from Tetris. Ooh, this is getting spicy. Alternate Universe J Chili. Oh no! Alright, I think we're gonna let it go until until we have 40 messages. So as soon as we have oh god, my nose is running from the spiciness. As soon as we hit 40, which is one more. One more. I gotta hit pause as soon as it hits 40. There we go, 40. Uh, I'm gonna draw. I'm gonna draw. How many? What's what's the limit of what we can do for a poll? One, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna draw five names, and the top two voted on will be oh Taurus the po Taurus the Pokemon. Okay, so we're gonna do a poll. I'm gonna do five. Taurus, bootleg Pikachu, oh no, Grandma Chili, Grandma Chili, did, did somebody type Grandma Chili twice? Ash, catch him. Source wants to sway oh. the vote. All right, well, one, one of our characters is now automatically Grandma Chili, which is just me in a wig and like a grandma's wig. Um, but we're still gonna vote on the last one. That's also Bully Pikachu. Boyfriend from Friday, I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be Friday Night Funkin'. Not Friday Night Fuck You. Um. I'm just gonna put boyfriend from FNF. I'm sure everyone will know what that means. Okay, three minute poll. Top one will be our second, our second character that will st open the story in Carly's underwater palace. It's really strange that Carly's, that Carly's not one of the characters, but um, you know, things happen sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> oh carly will show up later okay all right maybe it's like oh I, you know what? i don't want to give i don't want to give chad any ideas this is your story this isn't my story this is your story you can add once the story so these two characters just have to be the opening characters you can add anybody you want one once we get into the story you can add anyone we did it last time. We had like six million stories. I put the tag on the story last time. Everybody's, everyone is here. Everybody's here. <laughs> you now own two legendary Carly cards. Oh no, Melgitos. <laughs> you absolute legend. I love that. <laughs> I'm not looking at the poll. I have a sinking suspicion. Yeah, I had a sinking suspicion. Someone really tried for boyfriend from Friday Night Funkin'. Which, you know, respect, absolute respect, going going up against Bootleg Pikachu like that. Oh no, Carly. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's, that's Mel Guidos's absolute favorite card at this point. <laughs> it's one of my favorite cards, I'll tell you that much. Oh, my mouth is finally cool. It's cooled down. <laughs> yeah, that'll be that'll be amazing if like the whole story happens and then the final line is like Carly comes home and finds uh, absolute chaos. Are you gonna order his pizza? <laughs> pizza for everybody. Pizza for all of chat. <laughs> King in the streets, oh, there it is. Daddy in the streets. There it is. Flannel has one too. There it is. 
I love that card so much. <laughs> I love that card so freaking much. Oh, a joke. Type underscore orange underscore wants you or your intelligent assistant to tell a joke. Alexa, tell us a joke. What do you call a statue in the Star Wars gift shop? Mannequin Skywalker. Mannequin Skywalker. I had a feeling it was going to be bootleg Pikachu. I had a feeling. I had a, I had a sinking suspicion it was going to be bootleg Pikachu. Alright. So now, this brings us to the very, the most important part. Now we have to write the story, chat. Now we gotta write the story. So, here's what I need from you. Here's what I need from you. Quick question, you have the special video card if you play it. Uh, will your email address show on stream? If you, if you type it in, yes. But if you don't type anything in, you can just send me whatever you want. Um, I'm not sure what you mean by, like, are you going to type in, is your email address part of the link or something along? Because it will show the link to whatever you, whatever you put into the, um, the prompt. But you can just send it to me on Discord if you want. And just not include any link. And then just send it to me. It says to input your email? What? What? What your email? in the chaos pack does it let you submit it without putting anything there yeah oh to make me record a video no i'll just i'll just send it on on discord just put in, instead of that put whatever you want the video to be i didn't realize it asked for your email that's weird Bardal has redeemed Ooh, a common. common holiday loot box. Yeah, just just type whatever you want the video to be. I do still owe you a video. You haven't let me know what you want. Or you can just submit it and then tell, send me a message what you want the video to be. Okay, so here's what we need, chat. Yeah, no, no, don't put, don't put your email. Gift a pack of stream loot too. I don't know why I'd ask for your email. Please don't put your email. I'm sorry. I don't know why I'd ask for that. Wait, who played that? Who played the common holiday with Bucks? Fardell. Uh, here's what I need, chat. And give me one second to get back over there, because I gotta start. I gotta start the timer. Um, I need the opening to our story. It's time. It's time to start our story. So we need. Hey, Royale redeemed five free stream loot packs. We need the opening line, the opening paragraph, whatever you feel like writing. I am going to start accepting messages right now. Now it's time to write the story. That's right, Watermelon Guy. Well, come on in, my friend. So give me an opening sentence, an opening paragraph. Wants you to uh, record a video however, however much you want to record in the beginning. Or not record. I'm sorry. I was looking at the screen. However much you want to write in the beginning. <laughs> um, give us at least a complete sentence. Okay. So we'll give it a couple minutes, we'll get some messages in, and then I'm going to randomly draw one. And that will be our opening line. Uh, do a channel introduction for your stream starting starting soon screen. Like just talking about you, Flannel? I didn't know if you had any specifics. I know you had mentioned that, but I wasn't sure if you had any specifics. Also, we're going to want to we're going to want to bring in our characters fairly soon. So they're they're a must for the first couple sentences. Oh, Blake Pikachu and Grandma Chili were sneaking around Carly's apartment looking for some free stream loots. <laughs> oh, a rush of water from the newly opened pad. Oh, well, it is underwater, so you got to be careful opening hatches in in the underwater palace. That is very true. And I'll give it a couple more minutes if anyone else has anything they'd like to contribute. Uh, if yours doesn't get selected and you want to hold on to it for the next sentence, 
just copy and paste or just copy it and then have it ready to paste it in for the next section Carly 51 23 wants to know your opinion on pineapple on pizza I, I don't like pineapple period so it's not a matter of me not liking pineapple on pizza I'm not a fan of pineapple period I think I might have a mild pineapple allergy because I it just usually doesn't sit well with me so it's not a matter of me liking on pizza or not on pizza I just don't like it period like flat out, no pineapple. Oh, oh no, oh no, orange. Oh, I see, I see how this, I see how this is gonna go. I see how this is gonna go, orange. I see how this is, this is starting off. Orange isn't fucking around. <laughs> Oh, no worries, watermelon guy. We will be here. We'll be here for a couple more hours. If someone is. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, daddy. <laughs> oh, daddy. All right, we're at 20 messages. I'm going to stop it. And I'm going to draw our opening line. Oh, Carly was feeling bored, so she decided to call up Grandma Chili and Bootleg Pikachu. All right. That, you know, that's one of the more wholesome ones. I approve of this. I very much approve of this. That's very wholesome. I like this one. I approve of it. We also brought Carly into the story already. I approve of this one. Flannel Source wants to change a line in the story. Oh no, what what line? You wanna change the opening line already? <laughs> oh no, Flannel, what do you want to change it to? <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> this is escalating quickly. <laughs> You send it back to you? Okay, I'll send it back to you. You misread it? Okay, that's that one's the change an entire line. So that one's not just changing one word. That one you can change an entire line of the story. I like it as chaos, though. It's a very on brand. Oh, something else is happening. Carly5123 wants you to speak only in questions for the next three minutes. What's the next line in our story, chat? What do you think about me? Starting the counter again. How does that make you feel? How would you feel about typing in the next line of our story? Bardal wants to change a single word in the story. What word would you like to change, Bard? Why would you want it to be Slorp? Hmm. Flannel Source wants you to talk like bootleg Pikachu. Why? Why would you do this to us, Bard? Why would you put us in this this awkward situation? Why the slurping? <laughs> why all the slurping? <laughs> what's gonna happen next, chat? What's 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 what do we have in store for our our uh, our our characters? Our our very wholesome. Not a, not at all corruptible characters. Because I'm included. You better not do anything bad to me, chat. I'm in there. <laughs> I'm also not talking to questions, so I forget who redeemed that card. They're going to get a, some stream loots. <laughs> I forget who redeemed that. Hang on, I got to check. <laughs> Carly, you're going to get some stream loot packs because I fucked up. I fucked up. Here you go. Have some stream loot packs. From Bootleg Pikachu. These ones are especially from Bootleg Pikachu. Gal wants a tale of the epicness that has oh, ensued throughout the history this, of Glizzy Topia. This is a special, a special epic tale because uh, this is a Bootleg Pikachu story, and I was there. Trust me, I was there. I was, I was working in the shadows. I was like, I was like an assassin in the night of Glizzy Topia, and I was just kind of slinking around. Looking for uh, looking for Bardella a new host. Wants to change a single word and in the that's, story. that's when I met the king of Glistopia, Jay Chili. Uh, you all you all know him as Jay Chili. He went, he went by a different name back then, but that's when I met Jay Chili. This is this is the origin. It was actually on the beach because I'm pretty sure that's been established before. But 
he that's that's where the joke is because he thinks he met me on the beach but i was watching him i was always watching from the shadows watching from the shadows i also had a campfire i had a campfire in the shadows that's how that that's how i uh that that's that's how i saw him i had my own campfire thank thank you thank you so much for the the, the little the little bit of of uh emphasis there carly with that wonderful song but i was in the shadows and i was watching and i was waiting and one night when when the clean the king of glistopia went to sleep i just snuck in to his bedroom and i uh, i gave him a, a big ol a big ol hug on the head and that that was the birth of parasitic bully pikachu <laughs> Oh no, things- hey! Hey wait, things are getting weird! <laughs> Allie, things are getting weird! <laughs> things are getting weird already! <laughs> I'm gonna- I'm gonna draw- Boy Pikachu is gonna draw the next line of the story. Here we go. I'm pausing it, and I'm drawing the next line. All of a sudden, Carly woke up from her weird fantasies, remembering that she went on vacation and called on Grandma Chili and Boy Pikachu to take care of the house when she was gone when she was gone there we go hang on uh, oh sorry boy pikachu's gone boy pikachu's gone Also, Bard, I think I think you redeemed another um, another chain slurp back to call. Okay. <laughs> why the second? Why the second thoughts on slurping? <laughs> Chat was not a fan. <laughs> I'm surprised. That that seemed like it was right up right up chat's alley. <laughs> Alright, I gotta start it up again. So you can start submitting the next line, the next paragraph, whatever you want. You can start submitting it. If you've had something that you wrote before that you like and you still want it, you can copy and paste it. And maybe it'll get selected for the next time. I can send the card I can absolutely send the cards back. I can absolutely send the cards back. Hey, yo, Bard, you got your cards headed back. So now you can change other words. Can you make a request? Of course you can make a request. Request away. Absolutely request away. Bake a pie. Oh, that's really sweet. I love how orange went from something really unwholesome a couple messages ago to something really wholesome now. Things have things have uh, taken a turn. Oh no worries, we won't. We absolutely won't do anything. Anything that makes anyone uncomfortable. So we will anything that involves anybody that's real in chat. Um, if it's something that they're not comfortable with, it will get the automatic veto. The automatic veto hammer. It's like the ban hammer, except for vetoing things. Fictional characters are free game, though. So, Bully Pikachu is free game. And Grandma Chili is just me in a wig, so... I don't care. 
But yes, absolutely. We were we our goal is never, never to make anyone uncomfortable. But aside from that, we can have we can have these wonderful characters because I mean I don't even know it, it sounds like Carly's not actually there. Carly's on vacation. We're we've we've left we've left Grandma Chili and and Bully Pikachu unattended. That's that's a recipe for disaster. Um, you can also start bringing in new characters if you want. New characters can be brought into the story. Um, I'm gonna go for one more message. So if anyone else has anything, um. Fenrir Yao wants to ask you if you had to wear a warning label, what would yours say? Uh, just chaos in all capitals. Warning, chaos, with like six exclamation points afterwards. Oh, the house starts to eat them. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm gonna... <laughs> oh, boy. All right. We got another one from Bard. I gotta pause it, and we're gonna draw. We're gonna draw our next line. Uh, not that one. Oh, not... It's not... Still not that one. Oh, Grandma Chili started to bake a pie for when Carly returned home. That's super wholesome. That's super wholesome. Oh, that's really wholesome. I approve of that. How about this? Tell me about the pie, chat. What kind of pie is it? Give us some description. Tell us about this pie. Oh, dolphin. I'm so glad you're here hanging out with us. Tell us about this pie. What kind of pie is it? I want to know all the juicy details about this pie. <laughs> oh, pumpkin pie! I love pumpkin pie. I could live if if pumpkin pie were a means to sustain oneself nutritionally. I would live off a solid diet of just pumpkin pie, or just the filling from pumpkin pie. I could just eat the filling, and I would be happy. Oh no! What uh? What are you playing, dolphin? Oh, an apple pie made with all the sweetest apples. Oh, we are a big fan of apples here here on the channel. I'm a big fan of apples, so. You ever play Monster? Oh, I'm not a big fan of Monster Hunter. I could never get into it. But all the kudos to you for, for being able to play it, because I don't understand Monster Hunter. There's too many there's too many things. Too many things going on, and I think I've joined the franchise a little bit too late. All right, here we go. I got pause. We got some responses. You don't like apple pie? <laughs> Shh, apple, don't don't tell them that. <laughs> this pie, it was a glizzy pie. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, but inside the pie, Boole Pikachu hit the jump scare and when I tried to eat it. Oh no! All right. <laughs> Two words. <laughs> this is this may be the most wholesome chat writes a story story that we've ever written. <laughs> this might be the most wholesome chat writes a story that we've ever written. Uh, I've I've tried I've tried Monster Hunter World. I was not a fan dolphin. I'm sorry. I also tried Monster Hunter Rise and wasn't wasn't much of a fan. I just don't think it's for me. Oh, too early. Wait, I'll start. Brady's already got Brady's already got lines ready. So here we go. What what's happening next? I don't know that we can we can describe the pie. I mean, you could if there's more you want to say about the pie, feel free. There will be more votes. We will vote on different things later on as they as they rise. Greasy sabotage, how are you, my friend? Yeah, Dolphin, I'm sorry. It's just it's just not my kind of game. I've tried two of them. I tried Rise and World, 
And I just, I wasn't, I wasn't fond of them. There was a lot to learn. And, uh, I don't know, I just feel like I came in too late. Oh, a pie mage. Oh. Oh, hell yeah, Greasy tap Sabotage. I'm so happy to hear. So what we got going on right now is chat writes a story. Um, we've got our story so far. Am I blocking any of it? I am blocking some of it. Um, this is our story so far. Um, and everybody is typing in what they want the next line, the next paragraph, the next segment of the story to be in chat. And the little, I think, up there, up in the corner, that little... That little doodad up there is recording the messages, messages in chat so we can do a random drawing of one of them. Nope, that thing's going to randomly pick somebody's message. So um, once I once I pause it, it will we'll be able to draw a random message from chat from this segment. And sometimes we do polls for different stuff. I think maybe we'll introduce a new character soon, and we may do a poll for who that character character will be. But I'm gonna give folks a couple more seconds, like 30 more seconds, if you're typing a response in, they want to get in for this segment. I will give you about 30 more seconds to finish typing and submit it, and then, then we're gonna draw, we're gonna draw a the next line of our story. All right, we're gonna pause and we're gonna draw. Carly, Carly was sad and a tad bit angry because she was looking forward to the delicious looking pie. Alas, she she cannot be upset with her lord and savior, Boulay Pikachu. Carly, fifty-one twenty-three thinks you should jump five times just to be safe. I'm jumping. I'm jumping in my heart. <laughs> Uh, disregard mine, uh, that you forgot your tail, but I mean, maybe you know about the pie. Maybe you're on vacation. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make some, some changes. Oh, you can, you can absolutely, we're, this is taking place in Carly's underwater palace, Greasy Sabotage. Yeah. Yeah, let's, let's, let's do that. <laughs> Geeky Dolphin 47 wants you or your intelligent assistant to tell a joke. Alexa, tell us a joke. What do you call a camel with no hump? Humphrey. I like that one. I didn't like that one. I didn't like that one. I usually like them. Type underscore orange underscore thinks you look thirsty. Oh, thank you. Ha 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 wonderful. I cut off part of it. I don't know that this program was ever meant to be used for things this long. Carly5123 thinks you could use a whole bottle of hydration. Oh, oh, you got it. Let's get up to the next section where folks can be writing. And let's also add in... There we go. Now it makes sense, because now you know what's going on. Um, orange steam to hydrate. Required. How about how about this? Let's get a new character. I'm gonna clear this. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna drink a whole bottle of water. Let's get a new character. Let's add. Let's pick. So everyone submit a character that you would like in the story, and then we'll do a poll for it. 
Because I definitely want to do more polls. So who who else is gonna who's who's gonna show up? Or who who maybe is already there, hiding, and they don't know about them. They could they could already be there for all we know. a lot of water <clears throat> oh george washington oh that'll be interesting that'll be real interesting <gasps> sands from undertale oh i love sands i love sands daddy Ezio. the entire oh no the entire jj lee chat irl <laughs> Oh no, like they're just they're just all sitting together like like an audience. They've got like seats set up like they're in a theater. This is actually a live performance of the chat rates a story event. <laughs> Alright, let's get let's get to 40. 40 message over to 38. There we go, 40. We're gonna pause it and we're gonna draw we're gonna draw three names and then we're gonna vote on it. Bella Bella from Beauty and the Beast? Bella from Twilight? I'll leave that up to you, chat. Bella Cat. Wait, who's Bella Cat? New character. Bella? We'll, we'll figure out who Bella is afterwards. Ink an inkling! <gasps> oh! Oh! This is just gonna turn into a true fanfic. Or, mmm. Daddy Freddy! Oh. Daddy Freddy. Can I, can I say daddy? Will, will Twitch allow that? I'm gonna just do dad. There we go. Start poll. <laughs> Three minute poll. <laughs> Start poll. Vote on who you would like the next character introduced in our story to be. Oh, Bella... Carly's cat! Oh, 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 I just had a complete, a complete brain fart. <laughs> oh, oh, that makes sense. I had a complete, I don't know, I saw Bella. I was like, Bella from Beauty and the Beast? I had, I had a complete brain fart. I'm so sorry, Carly. <laughs> oh, oh, there we go. The poll is now null and void. Uh, Bella is now part of the story. How are we going to introduce Bella chat? I'm going to restart things. The poll will eventually run down. I don't think I have the power to stop it. Type underscore orange underscore wants oh. to sway the vote. Oh, well, Inkling. the vote has now been swayed again to Inkling. I guess we'll let we'll let the vote run out in case anyone else has cards they want to play. I, I remember the first chat right to story turned into a war. I don't even remember what it was that turned into a war. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Carly fifty one twenty three wants to sway the vote. Bella. It's Bella again. <laughs> we'll let the three minute timer run out on the poll. I was going to start everyone writing the next section, but we'll let we'll let the poll run out. <laughs> oh no. Flannel Source wants to sway the vote. <laughs> it's already back to Bella. It's already Bella. I'll send that back to you, Flannel. It's already been changed back to, to Bella. There you go, Flannel. I sent it back. You may have been on a, a slight delay because um, somebody else who... Carly changed it back to Bella. So I sent that card back to you. <laughs> well, so the, uh, the polls are sometimes strict, Watermelon Guy. With uh, with Twitch, sometimes they'll tell you you can't type things in, like you can't type any swear words in polls. Um, I'll let it I'll let it run out like the last minute just to make sure nobody else wants to wants to submit anything. But you can start typing your message. I won't I won't start drawing them, so don't hit enter until after the poll runs out. We make sure that Bella is our character. 
<laughs> oh no, Orange. Orange, you created chaos. We're all about chaos. Orange, I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud. I've taught you so well. I've trained you in, in the art of chaos so well, Orange. Uh, oh, also, I wanted to mention something that came up the other day that was um, a slight a slight concern with stream loot. So um, I changed a couple cards. The the cards that are in the packs in the chaos pack that are the stop and play whatever kind of game card, the rage card, the favorite game card, and the multiplayer card. I have changed them to. Um, not stop and play them, but play in a future stream. That way, uh, when we have stuff scheduled, you can still redeem them, and it'll it'll get scheduled for the next week. All right, here we go. We're gonna clear. We're gonna clear, and we're gonna start drawing. So uh, the poll is up. How do we introduce? How do we introduce Bella? How do we introduce Bella into the story? Yeah, Bard. I'm sorry. When I made those cards, it was back before we had like a set schedule for the things that we were gonna play. Uh, we didn't have a set schedule back then when I made those cards, so it was just like we would play whatever I felt like. And now we have, like, viewer requested games, we have nights where we play games with other folks. Um, so it's it's a lot harder to just stop and do whatever, especially if folks, if I put, like, Pokemon on the schedule one day, and folks show up specifically wanting to watch Pokemon, I don't, I'll feel really bad if we just, like, stop what we're doing and play a different game. Um, if, if somebody's here specifically to see that, so, um, oh, that's okay, Dolphin, no worries, you got nothing to worry about. It, it just works better with it being a play in a future stream card now, with, with the way we have a more structured construct to the stream. All right, we're gonna let, we're gonna get a couple more messages in. Let's let it get up to 10. Once it hits 10 messages, I'll draw... Oh no. Oh no, Bella's resorting to violence. <laughs> Poor innocent boy Pikachu. How could you even look at look at this face, Orange. Look at this face. Hang on, look at this face. Orange, just look at this face. This innocent face. Look at it. Look at look look how innocent that face is. How can you even how can you even recommend that, Orange? How could you even think? Such heinous things as lighting bootleg Pikachu on fire. Look at that face. Look, look at it. Look at, look, look at his little face. Look at his little face. How can you even suggest that? <laughs> no, it's it's an innocent, it's a beautiful innocent soul. Beautiful innocent soul that would never hurt a fly, probably. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna pause. We're gonna pause. We're gonna draw. We're gonna draw the next line. Uh, this is the face of a killer. This is not. That's what? What? No. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> For anyone that doesn't know, we'll add this in because I had a brain fart about it. Flannel Source <laughs> wants to change a line in the story. Oh, what line would you like to change? <laughs> uh oh, things are happening. Bardal sent a three-minute oh, email no. to type underscore orange underscore. Oh, no. Oh, that's actually really bad during chat rates right? a story, because that means you can't time... Or wait, not timeout. I'm, why am I starting a poll? Timeout. Sorry, Orange. We'll see you in three minutes. Geeky Dolphin 47 wants to gift a pack of stream mood, too. <laughs> Uh, the current line to your suggestion, Bella... Okay, okay, so we're changing... Boy, Pikachu's not getting lit on fire. We're... We're negating... We're negating that, okay. Type 
type underscore orange underscore oh. wants to change a line in the story. Uh, orange, how are you going to let us know what line you want to change? You're timed out. <laughs> I'll keep it in mind for when you're back. <laughs> Oh, I just come back from her scuba diving lesson. Oh, I love this. Oh, I love this so much. <laughs> I love this so much. <laughs> I love this so much. If Carly was a pilot, Bella was going to be contrary and, beco and become a scuba diver. <laughs> oh, no. Let's get let's get some. Here we go. Here we go. I'm going to clear and I'm going to start. Let's get some context on Bella the scuba diver. <laughs> let's get some context on Bella the scuba diver. Give us some details. What is it like scuba diving for a cat? I want some some scuba diving backstory. Do you think I steal to write my own books? It's definitely, <laughs> absolutely. Fuck, they're on to me. <laughs> oh, well, that is true. I forgot. Boy, Pikachu is a mouse. <laughs> What year does this take place? Like? That I mean, that's that's up to chat. <laughs> I don't I don't have any say. You can establish what year it's taking place, Greasy Sabotage. I I have no. I'm just here. I'm just hanging out. I'm just vibing. <gasps> five packs for Sales Apple. Apple has purchased five packs. Let me send you your five bonus packs. Thank you so much, Apple. There you go, I sent your five bonus packs on over to you. Orange should be back shortly. Oh, the SS Barn Owl. Yeah, Greasy Sabotage, this is perfect. We just introduced scuba diving. Although I suspect once Orange is back, that may change. But there's nothing to stop us from introducing scuba diving again. <laughs> Trans Boy like Pikachu! Is that is that your next line or is that what you're changing a line to? Because you also redeemed to change a line, Orange. <laughs> what line would you like to change? Or do you want your card back? <laughs> Listen, Orange. Orange! How could you? Seal's apple has arrived. You take your card back. Orange, how could you? Listen, we're going we're going back here because you know what? How how could you? Look at this face, Orange! Look at this face. Also, Boy Pikachu doesn't have lungs, unless that's what the dangly bits are. Is this its lungs? Are these its lungs? The little the little air balls that make its ears flop around? Is that what they are? Is that its lungs? I don't think Pikachu Boy Pikachu breathes. <laughs> I don't think Boy Pikachu breathes. Pikachu Carly, if you send me a picture, hours. I will pull up. What would a... you do if randomly, at random times, random objects turned invisible? Well, oh, that'd be kind of cool. That'd be like a, an IRL scavenger hunt at random points in the day. Nope. <laughs> um, Carly, if you send me if you send me a picture of of uh, Bella, I will put Bella on the screen. We're going back to the story, and I'm gonna I'm gonna pause it. We're gonna pause, and we're gonna draw. Uh, oh, you know what? <laughs> let's <laughs> let's make this. <laughs> This was not part of the plan, but here we go. <laughs> this It's the Underwater Palace in the year 1912. We've just established the year. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Bella had become... Oh, here we go. <laughs> become an accomplished wreck diver and just finished a dive on the SS Bardell. <laughs> the boat uprising. <laughs> how about how about this? Tell us 
I'm gonna start drawing answers again. Tell us about the SS Bardell. What makes the SS Bardell so significant, chat? What What is the history of the SS Bardell? And you can type more than one sentence. You can type, if you want to type a whole paragraph and just get a whole paragraph on the board, you can do that. Tell us about the SS Bardell. I don't know, Bard. You tell me. You tell me. Are you a boat? Are you a sub? Are you a spacecraft that has landed in the ocean? Yeah, that also went over my head, Flannel. <laughs> Picture sent. Oh hell yeah, let's get let's get Bella on the screen. Here we go. Oh, this one's perfect. This one's perfect. Hang on. Uh oh, I don't know where I put it. Oh, that's not good. I don't know where that went. I saved it, but it went somewhere. Somewhere I don't know where. There we go. There we go. There's Bella. That's Bella. There we go. So we just got... We just got Bella hanging out now. Just got spicy real quick. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. What happened? The SS Bardell was the final resting place of the mag the magnificent type orange citrine gemstone. <gasps> Oh, we're getting a pot. We're getting pot, everybody. <laughs> we're getting pot. The SS Bardell is shaped like an owl with a wingspan the height of the Eiffel Tower. Oh, my God. <laughs> These things go for miles on land, sea, and air. The craft is designed with the purple shutters in mind of the airflow along... <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. We're getting into the aerodynamics of SS Bardell. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm giving it 30 seconds if you're typing something. I don't want to say hurry up, but hurry up. <laughs> Cuz I'm going to I'm going to pick the next the next section of our story. Maybe we'll pick depending on what we get, maybe we'll pick two. If if I pick two and they work together, we'll go with two as backstory for the SS Bardell. 10 seconds. I'm going to pause in like three seconds. That was not 10 seconds, but. <laughs> Bella is famous. I mean, Bella was already famous as, as one of your emotes. All right, we're pausing. We're drawing. But that, that would be the message that popped up. That would be the message. What the fuck? <laughs> what? Okay, so this is not. Oh, here we go. It says Bardell was a unique place. It held one and all of the rip-off Infinity Stones. I mean, the Chaos Pencils! Oh no! Hang on, where is this message? Where is this message? There it is. SS Bardell. Oh. Oh, we're getting plot. It should be. Wait, I didn't do that for the... It should be... Chaos pencils. All right. <laughs> I don't know if, if drawing another one. I'll drawing another one might make sense. Let's see. Uh, oh, you know what? <laughs> oh no. This will make sense. Oh no. I'm so sorry, Bart. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. 
<laughs> um, so we've arrived at an interesting impasse, chat. <laughs> now we need to know. We need to know about the chaos pencils. I'm gonna start. <laughs> I'm gonna start drawing again. Tell me about the Chaos Pencils. The knockoff Infinity Stones. Tell me about the Chaos Pencils. We've got plot. I don't know if we've ever had plot before. Have we ever had plot in Chat Writes a Story? It's always just been <laughs> a bunch of random shit happening. <laughs> It's always just been a bunch of random shit going down. <laughs> I still felt the need to apologize, Bard. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Watermelon guy, yours was not bad. Nobody's is bad. That's the fun thing about Chat Rates a Story is we all... Well, except for me. I don't, I don't... I'm not involved. I write stories all the time. This is my chance to take a break. But everybody in chat puts their heads together, and this is your story. And we're going to read it at the end. Ooh, oh, flannel, that sounds really cool. That legitimately sounds really cool. <laughs> wasn't that, wasn't that, what was it, Chalk Zone? That was on Cartoon Network or Nickelodeon back in the day, where they had, like, the magic chalk, and they could, like, draw things, and it came to life? Scar, welcome! Welcome, Scar. Thank you so much, Apple. I appreciate it. Welcome on in, Scar. We are writing a wonderful story. Um, we have established a a plot where Bella, as depicted in, in the top, Carly's cat. Bella, Carly's cat. Um, is a scuba diver, and they have been venturing to the SS Bardal, which is the resting place of one of the ripoff Infinity Stones. Oh, no, I mean the Chaos Pencils. <laughs> and we're trying to establish what the Chaos Pencils are. So if if you'd like to contribute, um, we have this cool... I don't remember if you were here for a chat race story last time. We have this cool little doodad up here in the top right corner. Um... Two that, shots of vodka. That is recording uh, things typed in chat, and I can hit draw, and it will pick a message Top at random. Underscore orange underscore oh, thank you, wants orange. you to hydrate. Thank you. I feel very well hydrated right now. <laughs> Walk on this year right now. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. All right, I'm going to give it 30 seconds. I have actually. It's it's still there. It hasn't gone anywhere. It hasn't gone anywhere yet. <laughs> All right, I am gonna pause. Where's my mouse pointer? There's my mouse pointer. I am gonna pause. Oh, watermelon still get one in. I'll give it another another couple seconds in case anyone else wants to get in. What what they think the chaos pencils are, and you get to establish the lore. Whoever gets chosen gets to establish the lore of the Chaos Pencils. All right, we're pausing. Oh, not, oh, Greasy Sabotage. See you later. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really appreciate it. Oh, oh there we go. The other four, oh, here we go. Now we're getting even more lore. Where was this one? The other four Chaos Pencils are mostly unknown. But one was last seen Carly 51, with a wooden chair. You should jump five oh, times no. just to be safe. I promise. I promise. I'm jumping. Oh no! I've been flipped upside down. Oh no! I'm upside down. Oh no! The other four chaos pencils are mostly unknown, but one was last seen with a wooden chair but that's probably irrelevant <laughs> is it un unrelevant i think it is it 
I'm gonna hold a new Ear Elevator. Source redeemed an epic holiday loot box. Yeah, it's Ear Elevator, I think. Ooh, an epic one. Yeah. Um, let's try another one, because that, that still only tells us a little bit. Uh, here we go. Where is Bardella this one? wants to change a line in the story. What would you like to change? While you're deciding, I'm going to start typing because we're going to also use part of this one. Oh, I also spelled other wrong. Oops. But I think we've established that there's five of them in the first line. So I'm going to, I'm going to retcon it to be five. Source wants to propose the following 60 second drawing challenge. Oh. Scuba Bella. Well, oh, Scuba Bella. Oh, hell yeah. All right. So let's get back caught up. Uh, oh, you meant to play the word one. Okay, let me send this one back. And then if you want to do the other one instead. There you go. Maybe it becomes an email. Ooh. <laughs> We're about to redeem a couple free packs, but you guys... Hell yeah, Flannel. Thank you so much. I, uh, I sent the, the other one back to you, Bard. Bardowl wants to change a single okay. word in the story. So you want to change four to five. And then we'll have to change this to six. Rattler Dally wants a story recap. Oh, story recap. Oh, you got it. Um, let me get everyone set up. Writing. So, Bella, what, here, here's our... I'm going to read the whole story again as the recap, but here's what we've got so far. We got Bella has just arrived. Actually, maybe because I know I know Scar just arrived. Maybe I will read everything again. So, Scar, we've got uh, our setting is Carly's Underwater Palace in the year 1912, which is very exciting. I don't I don't I was not Carly alive in 1912. Thanks. You should flip your oh, here, controller here. upside flip, down for the I'll next my, 5 minutes. I'll flip my mouse upside down just for you. Just for you, I'll flip my mouse upside down. <laughs> Just for you. <laughs> oh, that's going to be bad. Uh, we've got the main characters, Grandma Chili and Bootleg Pikachu, which Grandma Chili is just me in like an old lady wig. <laughs> uh oh. Flannel Source wants to gift oh, a pack a of pack. Steam Loot to. Alexa, what are you doing? I can only explain recent voice requests, but I'm learning to explain more of my actions. You can check the Alexa app for more information. Stop it. All right, story recap. Carly was feeling bored, so she decided to call up Grandma Chili and Bootleg Pikachu. All of a sudden, Carly woke up from her weird fantasies, remembering that she went on vacation and called on Grandma Chili and Bootleg Pikachu to take care of the house while she was gone. Grandma Chili started to bake a pie for when Carly returned home. But inside this pie, Bootleg Pikachu hid to jump scare anyone that tried to eat it. Carly could see everything through the nanny cams she had set up throughout the underwater palace. Carly was sad and a tad angry because she was looking forward to the delicious looking pie. Alas, she cannot be upset with her lord and savior Bootleg Pikachu and the wonderful Grandma Chili. <laughs> Bella, Carly's cat, had come in from her scuba diving lesson. If Carly was a pilot, Bella was going to be contraire and become a scuba diver. Bella had become an accomplished wreck diver and just finished the dive to the SS Bardell. SS Bardell was a unique place. It held one of the rip-off Infinity Stow, I mean the Chaos Pencils, which controlled the world. SS Bardell was the biggest ship with the largest poop deck. <laughs> she was a beautiful sight to even the greenest people. The other five Chaos Pencils are mostly unknown. But one was last seen with a wooden chair, but that's probably irrelevant. 
The six Chaos Pencils spread to the farthest reaches of the universe held untold power. When combined, they would give the Holder the power to bend the very fabric of time and space to their will. <laughs> so, uh... <laughs> Uh, <laughs> uh, where do we go? Let's, uh, let me, let me try to navigate to my, to my thingamabob to record. Oh, I don't know if I can do this with an upside down mouse. I have no idea where my pointer is. There it is. I found it. Okay. There it is. Click. Okay. What happens next, Jet? Can we get out of the floor dump? Absolutely we can. We can go anywhere you want. I'm gonna start recording. Type in what you would like to happen next. You can type a sentence, you can type a paragraph, you can type, oh, an idea for what you'd like to happen next. Preferably a sentence or a paragraph though. <laughs> uh, and in the meantime, I'm gonna draw a picture of scuba diving Bella. Uh, which I'm gonna have to change scenes to do because I don't have I don't have a screen capture set up on this scene. Uh, so guys, okay, full screen. <laughs> uh, I don't know why. Why is that even there? Oh, well, thinks it's a PC game. Okay, I'm gonna draw scuba diving Bella. While everyone still, you can still type your responses in. They're still recording. Was it a 60 second drawing challenge? 60 second, okay. Alexa! Set a 60 second timer. One minute, starting now. Oh, thank you, Flannel. This is very accurate. We're underwater. That was perfect timing on that one. Oh, oh. Uh, we're underwater. Underwater. There it is. Alexa! Stop! There it is. 60 second Bella. 60 second underwater Bella. <laughs> <laughs> the guy looks like Ninja Bella. I promise that's a scuba diving suit. <laughs> that's a scuba suit. Scuba Bella. <laughs> you smell a new emote, oh no. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna pause. <laughs> we're gonna pause and we're gonna draw. No, no. The Chaos Pencil is the most powerful writing utensils in the world. It could be used to rewrite any moment in history. Oh, okay, we're getting more we're gonna draw another one. We're get we're getting more lore, but we're gonna we're gonna draw another one after this, because we, we gotta we gotta move on. Pass pencils, the most powerful writing pencils in all the world could be used to rewrite any moment in history. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Flannel source insists yeah, upon their story response. Oh, wait, who is that? Flannel. Let me see what your story response was. Fortunately, what Bella had found was the bootleg chaos pencils. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> Unfortunately. Carly 5123 wants you to play with one hand for 15 seconds. All right, I'm totally typing with one hand. Ta shopping at Target? <laughs> what Bella had found was the Bula Chaos Pencil, which led, which let her have the power to bend people to shopping at Target. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah, what's wrong with shopping at Target? Here, there we go. There's our next prom. What's wrong with shopping at Target, everybody? <laughs> I need a reason that that's a bad thing. <laughs> Bootleg Bellachu. Ooh, what would Bootleg Bellachu look like? And also, if you type a response that is still applicable... Rattler, Alley, uh, just copy and paste it for the next one. For the next five minutes. Chat, the uh, the reader does get cleared after each response, but that doesn't stop you if you had something good that you still want in there to copy and paste it on in to try and get it in for the next the next section. But I want to know I want to know what's bad about Target. I want to see some Target related responses. <laughs> I love Target. I've only been to Target like five times in my life we have a target i don't like target <laughs> to be completely honest targets targets kind of like bootleg walmart in my opinion even though it's like fancier walmart Walmart's bootleg Target. <laughs> Hasn't Walmart's been around longer though? I'm pretty sure. Unlike the bootleg pencil, if one who did not, who did not have the best intentions, got their hands on the real ones, well, carnage would would ensue. <laughs> Oh no, not Whole Foods. I don't have a Whole Foods. I've never been to a Whole Foods. <laughs> not Whole Foods, anything but that. I only like half foods. That was really bad, I'm sorry. <laughs> Ultra Target Bella, oh no. Oh no. Oh no, we're gonna have we're gonna have a new a new ultra form. <laughs> ultra pocket coon last time. Oh no. All right, 30 seconds and I'm going to pick something. 30 seconds and I'm going to pick a response because we haven't really gone anywhere yet. <laughs> We've set up a lot of lore. <laughs> Welcome back, Dolphin. How are you doing, my friend? It's so good to have you back. Oh, n not Neftizos. Not Neftizos. All right, I gotta pause. We got an answer from Watermelon Guy. I'm gonna pause it. We got a bowl of ice cream. That sounds amazing. We're gonna pause. And we're gonna draw. We're gonna draw again. We're gonna draw again. Uh, was this supposed to be a response score? Are, are, we, are we implying that the underwater... Carly's underwater palace is is a uh... all right. I'll pick. We'll try another one. Oh, here at watermelon. Oh, we haven't had a response from watermelon guy yet. The group went to a target. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, we're changing. We're changing location. Change of sceneries. Group went to target and a strange employee. Oh, we're bringing watermelon guy is in the story.
I will preface and let you know, Watermelon Guy, anytime anyone's been in the story, it usually ends very poorly for them. Sleepy has died in both of the other chat rights of stories. Oh, this is this is going this is going some I guess I scrolled. Uh oh, this is going some places. And then Oh oh this is going some places. A robber came in and shot at the melon. The melon lad. <laughs> oh, oh. Well then. Watermelon guy. I shot back and <laughs> got the hit and killed the robber. Well, <laughs> we've got we've got some action. We've got action. We've got drama. <laughs> We're at Target now, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to Target. <laughs> There's a shootout going on. <laughs> There's a shootout going on. Waterbelly guy has, has shot and killed a robber. <laughs> What's going to happen at Target? Why, why are we at Target? What's going to happen at Target? Why... Was Target even around in 1912? I don't think so. What? 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 what is this? this is escalating quickly. What's happening? What's happening next, chat? What's happening next? Welcome to Target. Now you must die. So let's let's get let's get the next lines. Oh, watermelon guy, that was amazing. There are a lot of targets in 1912. There was a war of 1912, but like Target the store? Are we gonna find out this is not Target the store? <laughs> Keanu Reeves could appear. If your message gets picked, Dolphin, Keanu Reeves will appear. <laughs> oh, Brady, I love that. They're like, oh, why are we at Target? <laughs> How did we get here? We were underwater. Is this an underwater target? This could be an underwater target. Also, Jinto, how are you, my friend? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, Keanu Reeves, yes. Oh, great. Dolphin. Dolphin, this is this is already a shitpost. <laughs> oh, it's already there. It's already there, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> the store manager of all store managers, Rat Lord Alley. Insists upon their story response. Oh, okay, there we go. As long as Rat Lord Alley is okay with being the manager of Target. We'll wait for confirmation that Rat Lord Alley is okay with this. <gasps> you beat eight doors! Hell yeah, Gento! Highly recommend. I have it on my wish list. I'm definitely going to check it out. I am going to start typing this. Oh no, oh no, it's scrolling. It's scrolling. We've got Rat Lord Alley in the story now. They, they, oh, hell yeah. I'm sorry. You got it. Store managers, Rat Lord Alley, hell yeah! 
<laughs> the Archangel of Target. Um, let's see what happens. Because we're still drawing. Let's see what happens if I draw something, if it'll make sense. Oh. Oh, okay. Here we go. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. Hmm. Where is this one? With the Chaos Pencils. All right. We'll, we'll find out what Allie's up to in, in, in a hot sec. <laughs> uh, with the Chaos Pencil. Oh no, poor watermelon guy. Into the unthinkable pineapple guy. <laughs> oh no. I almost, I feel like the alley section should come after this. Peaches enters into a western cowboy style standoff at high noon. Oh no! Stop, Bella. It's too late. Bootleg. Pikachu already won. I feel like the alley part should come after this. <laughs> so wait, we're gonna do. We're gonna we're gonna copy this. We're gonna bring this down here. Cause I I feel like Alley is gonna intervene. There we go. Hey, listen. I'm I'm listening. I'm listening, I promise. <laughs> I promise. <laughs> what a plot twist. <laughs> Wait, what? What happened there? Alright. Hang on, hang on, we're not, re we're not recording messages yet. Hang on, what, uh, I was reading through chat, I missed some things. Um, what is that? We've, we've, Pineapple Guy and Bully Pikachu have had a standoff. A, an old western style standoff. Uh, apparently, Bully Pikachu won, or Bella, it was too late. Bella had already, Bully Pikachu won, but Pineapple Guy was trying to stop Bella. What is Allie? Allie shows up. We, we've confirmed that, that Allie shows up after the fact, because I feel like that, that'll be our... Oh no. Oh no, Scar. Scar, I don't know if introducing yourself into these stories is a good idea. <laughs> Like, I'm just gonna throw that out. Most, almost everybody in these stories has a poor ending. Sleepy has died in two of them so far. I think Martians died in both of them so far. In one of them, Mr. Walmart bit off Sleepy's head. <laughs> oh, then leaves. Okay, okay, that's smart. <laughs> <laughs> oh this is like i don't even i'm at the point where i don't know where to guide all oh, the cards you got are boring i'm sorry dolphin i'm really sorry you might get some better ones next time or they might if you hold on to them maybe they'll be useful for a different stream i love that we keep trying to bring keanu reeves in Final source would like to oh, offer Glizzy. a glizzy to everyone you know in the chat. This is a special glizzy from none other than Target. Because you know what? We're at Target. 
Um, and this glizzy also has little pieces. I don't like pineapple, but a lot of people like pineapple. This glizzy is from Target, purchased specially from Target, just just for all of you in chat. And it's got little pieces of pineapple drizzled across the top. Just a little pineapple drizzling. I'm not a fan of pineapple, but I know a lot of folks are. So there you go, a pineapple glizzy, just for you. But why do why is why are we resurrecting? Did Bella when did Bella die? When did Bella die? Yeah, when did Bella didn't die? Do you mean pineapple guy? Bella turned watermelon guy into the unthinkable pineapple guy. The target employees started to scramble, but Boule Pikachu enters into a Western cowboy style standoff at high noon. Wait, with Bella? I thought it was with Pineapple Guy. I thought it was with Pineapple Guy. Listen, Orange. Or Orange is. Orange woke up today and was like, I'm choosing violence. How could you kill? Look at this! Look at that face! Look at that face, Orange. Look at that face. It's not too late to change your mind, Orange. Look at that face. You can't kill Bella. You can't. I mean, you could, but you, you shouldn't. Bardal <laughs> sent a three-minute time oh. to type underscore orange underscore. Oh, unfortunately, Bard, the same person cannot be timed out um, twice in one stream, so I'm going to send that back to you. There is a there is a clause on that card that the same person cannot be timed out twice in one stream using it. Hey, listen. Yeah, it's it's pineapple guy. Pineapple guy was the one. I'm I'm making. I'm I'm making the the editorial decision that it was with pineapple guy because I thought it was with pineapple guy. Yeah, and that's when that's when it became a rule. That, that after that stream was when I I added that clause that you can't time somebody out more than once because that that did not sit well with me. Um, all right, I gotta pause it. I gotta pause it. All right, draw. Oh, yeah. See, Bella Bella's fine. Bella dope behind a, a display decorative hand a display of decorative hand towels. See, it's fine. Bella's fine. The shots rang out. Bella dove behind a display of decorative hand towels. She a little grunt. Uh oh. Oh, Ar Archduke Fr Flans Ferdinand. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Flans. go we got archduke flans ferdinand <laughs> oh no we've got we've got some this is why i only want home goods uh you can you can establish you can es establish specifically what you were what you were here to buy Yes, again, if anyone recommends anything and it's something that you're not okay with, um, it will get the automatic veto. We're, we're very, we're, we want everyone to have fun. So obviously if something makes someone uncomfortable, chat, please do not recommend it. Oh. Flannel Source wants a story recap. What story recap? You got it. You got it, Flannel. Here we go. Story recap. 
Carly was feeling bored, so she decided to call up Grandma Chili and Bootleg Pikachu. All of a sudden, Carly woke up from her weird fantasies, remembering she went on vacation and called on Grandma Chili and Bootleg Pikachu to take care of the house while she was gone. Grandma Chili started to bake a pie for when Carly returned home. But inside this pie, Boole Pikachu hid to jump scare anyone that tried to eat it. That that whole plot point just went out the window because now we're at Target. Um, Carly could see everything through the nanny cam she had set up throughout the underwater palace. Carly was sad and a tad bit angry because she was looking forward to the delicious looking pie. Alas, she cannot be upset with her lord and savior, Boole Pikachu, and the wonderful Grandma Chili. Bella, Carly's cat, had just come in from her scuba diving lesson. If Carly was a pilot, Bella was going to be contrary and become a scuba diver. Bella had become an accomplished wreck diver and just finished a dive on the SS Bardow. SS Bardow was a unique place. It held one of the rip-off Infinity Stone, I mean the Chaos Pencils, which control the world. SS Bardow was the biggest ship with the largest poop deck. She was a beautiful sight to even the greenest people. The other five Chaos Pencils are mostly unknown, but one was last seen with a wooden chair, but that's probably irrelevant. The six Chaos Pencils spread to the farthest reaches of the universe, held untold power. When combined, they would give the holder the power to bend the very fabric of time and space to their will. The Chaos Pencils, the most powerful writing utensil in all the world, could be used to rewrite any moment in history. Unfortunately, what Bella had found was the bootleg Chaos Pencil, which let her have the power to bend people shopping at Target. Two, I think it's supposed to be two shopping at car, Target. Let's add, a, let's add a two in there. Bend people to shopping at Target. The group went to Target, and a strange employee named Watermelon Guy said, Welcome to Target, in a depressing voice, and then a robber came in and shot at the Melon Lad. But Watermelon Guy shot back and got the hit and killed the robber. Yeah, this this is a Starbomb song. Starbomb is is safe for all streamers to play. For anyone that, that doesn't know. Campolingo, well, oh, come on in. Oh, no. Oh, no, Campolingo, I'm so sorry. This is what you've arrived for. With the Chaos Pencil, Bella turned Watermelon Guy into the unthinkable Pineapple Guy. The target employees started, start to scramble, but Bootleg Pikachu enters into a Western Cowboy-style standoff at high noon with Pineapple Guy. Pineapple Guy tries to stop Bella, but it's too late. Bootleg Pikachu already won. But then, there they were, standing bright for all to see. A halo-like effect seemed to make them larger than life. The store manager of all store managers, Rat Lord Alley. As shots rang out, Bella dove behind a display of decorative hand towels. She thudded into something solid but soft and heard a low grunt. Looking up, she realized the body that stopped her momentum was none other than Archduke Flans Ferdinand, who had come to buy various home goods. Oh no, Bard, I'm sorry. I, I completely blanked on the fact that there was... I'm sure we'll get another recap at some point. Um, I don't, see, I don't, I don't know where, where to, like, direct you. This is chaos. Oh, Apple, I'm so sorry. Yeah, definitely, let's, let's not, let, let's give Bella plot armor. Bella has plot armor. Bella is a main character. Bella has plot armor. Absolutely. Um... I don't know, whatever you want to happen next, chat. <laughs> whatever you want to happen next, you tell me. What happens next? What do you want to happen next? What do we want to happen next? Oh, Brady's, Brady's changing the scene. Brady, are you trying to tie this into the last story? Her magical flying, flying crockpot. 
I want a magical flying crock pot. That's amazing. <laughs> that mean that needs to be the next card that we, the next picture that we draw. Bella in a magical flying crock pot. That's amazing. <laughs> I imagine it like the neon, the neon cat, neon cat, <laughs> with the with like the rainbow behind it, the little the little pop tart cat from like the early days of Flash games. <laughs> Brady, none of it makes sense. Let's be realistic. None of this makes sense. <laughs> There is no sense. What is this sense that you speak of? Seals Apple wants oh. to propose the following 60 oh. second drawing challenge. Okay. <laughs> Bell in a magical flying crock pot. Okay. Oh, that's that's amazing. Okay. You can keep typing your responses and I'm going to I'm going to draw a picture. Alexa Alexa, what, what, sometimes you talk to me when I don't even say your name. Now I'm yelling your name. Alexa, set a 60 second timer. One minute, starting now. Thank you. Alexa, stop. Time for Halo. Oh, Dolphin, I hope you have a fantastic time. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. I really appreciate it. There we go. We got Bella flying in a crock pot. The wonderful, the wonderful Bella. Uh, I'm going to save this. These will be uploaded to the J Chili Art Gallery later. Bella in magic crock pot flying through space. Thanks to magic. <laughs> I mean, I'm okay with that. I love the I love the other emote that Carly uploaded. <laughs> All right, we got some responses. Let's see. Let me pause. Let me pause and let's see what is up next. There, oh, it is, it's canon. It's, it's officially canon. Flannel Source insists upon their story response. Oh, I'll give you that back. I'd already drawn yours. I'll send it back to you. It's canon. There we go. So Bella has departed. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, oh, we get some. There we go. We'll get some watermelon guy slash pineapple guy. Somehow, we'll go with pineapple guy because at this moment it's pineapple guy. Bardell insists upon their story response. Oh. Uh, let me see if we can make it both work. All right, we could add that into the, the paragraph before. So we'll keep going with this one, and then I'll add that one in too.
be a free lad. Oh, but he fell off a... Oh, no, watermelon guy! Oh, no! Brady Boy 2018 insists upon their story response. Oh, no. Okay, I'll look at that one, too, as soon as I finish typing this one. Uh... eyes. Oh, if this doesn't... <laughs> and Bella just leaves. <laughs> Brady. So this is like, this is an elsewhere. Meanwhile, And it slaps. Oh no. Brady's trying to bring a full circle back to Ultra Pocket Coon. Can you add to your? Uh, absolutely, you can add to your your flying crockpot line. What would you like to add? That's how you can tell they're a villain. <laughs> yeah, if not for that laugh, who would have known? Who would have known they were a villain? <laughs> yeah, that's day one of villain school. I would know. That's where I went to school. That's where I learned all my chaos. Oh no, I typed pineapple guy wrong. <laughs> I was like, what are they talking about? <laughs> See you later, watermelon guy. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. Keep an eye on the Discord later, because I'll drop the link for where the for the full story once it's done. So you can definitely check out the full story later. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. I really appreciate it. Oh, a flying bathroom suite. Oh. Oh, that's amazing. That's right. It's flans. Not frans. Flans. Oh, there we go. We got Bella and Archduke Vlans Ferdinand leaving. 
<laughs> Although, is there is there an Archduke Franz Ferdinand category? <laughs> That's right, I will send your card back, Flannel. Let me, uh, I'm gonna get started. What, uh, what happens next? <laughs> I'm getting nervous. What happens next? Or happens somewhere in between some of these things that have already happened? <laughs> There you go, flannel. <laughs> a fly bathroom in 1912. I'm pretty sure we're in we're in 1912. There's a lot going on for 1912. <laughs> it's like that version of the TARDIS that was the the entire diner at the end of the one more recent season. Oh, that's right. Don't forget, we've got to, we've got to, we've got to give, we've got to give Ratward Alley some some action in the story. It's it's never too late, Carly. It's never too late. You can still set up. You can still set up backstory. It's never too late for backstory. Backstory can happen at any point, at any time. That's that's the magic of Chet Rates a story. It can happen at any time. Just like we can we can momentarily break away to uh Ultra Pocket Coon in a white void somewhere. In the middle of uh an action scene in a target, and then we could just go right back. <laughs> I don't know. It was never like I don't remember where was it established that Bella was specifically looking for the chaos pencils. <laughs> we talked about Bella stumbling upon one of them, the bootleg chaos pencil. <laughs> oh, I love this so much. All we did put in the story that the pencils could be used to rewrite time. That is a that is a thing. Did that actually make it? It is. Can we use the rewrite right any moment in history? What would we what are we trying to rewrite in in 1912? I've I've lost control of the story, Carly. <laughs> the car the story's in, in your hand. It's in all of your hands. <laughs> Oh, our captain's hat. Oh. Wait, is that when it happened? Was it 19... Was it actually 1912? Wait. did Was Franz Ferdinand assassinated in 1912? That'll be amazing, because I know that was not the reference that was being made. No, it was before 1912. It had to have been. Oh, it's very close. 1914. That's that's viable. That's a viable thing, Carly. Franz Ferdinand died on the 28th of June, 1914. This is this is a viable plot point. <laughs> if we get all the pencils. <laughs> no, it's it's very like two years earlier they could be like prepping. They could be prepping to save Flans Ferdinand. That's a crazy quint, because I, I know for a fact that greasy sabotage picked that that for Yeah, exactly, because of the sink of the of the two, the Titanic. <laughs> oh, Bella's a princess who was cursed to be a cat. And her and Flans Ferdinand fall in love. Oh. Oh. Alright, I'm gonna stop it. We're gonna draw. <laughs> I'm just reading chat at this point. Yeah, uh, you gotta pause. We're gonna draw. Uh. We're gonna draw. Oh. Oh. So, wait, are all the cat. <laughs> Are all the cast pencils here? 
These poor employees. These poor employees at Target. <laughs> oh God, I don't work at Target. Okay. The the chaos pencils have become sentient. <laughs> it's only it's only like three of them. Okay. It's not all of them. Um let's see what else. What uh Uh <laughs> I feel bad for these target employees already. I don't know if Oh it keeps coming back to that one. Let's let's give let's give let's give Allie. This is this is just chaos. This is this is that's all this is is chaos. Source wants to change a line in the story. Oh, what line would you like to change? Line. Okay. So wait, we'll keep we'll keep that. got a lot. Also, I'm pretty sure that's the same one I sent back. That's the same card I sent back, because Flannel used it to pick theirs, and theirs had already gotten picked. Um, okay. I don't know what to do at this point. Oh no, this is crazy. I don't even... I don't even... So, Bella and Flans Ferdinand have left. <laughs> Boole Pikachu and... Uh, oh, hang on. Hang on, Bard. Copy that message and paste it again. I'm gonna... I'm gonna clear and start it. I'm sorry, I didn't start it. Um... <laughs> uh, we still have Boole Pikachu and G Granny Chili are still at Target. Bella and F Arch Duke F Flans Ferdinand have have flown off. There's three chaos pencils, or at least multiple chaos pencils, at the target. Ultra Pocket Coon's doing something in the white void. <laughs> uh, Ratlord Alley is is fighting off the, the chaos pencils with their their trusty frying pan drying pan combo. Um. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> oh, you're doing a rewrite. Oh, oh, okay, we can do that. <laughs> so you want to do... <laughs> oh apple i love that so much i can't believe how many points you have that's amazing <laughs> oh that's oh no not the drying pan anything but the drying pan pocket the cat oh oh pocket the cat I love Pocket the Cat. Pocket the Cat was adorable. Pocket the Cat was so adorable. Oh, let's get the crap out of Final me. Final Source wants you to avoid boost pads for Oh, you got seconds. it. No more boost pads for the next 10 seconds, everyone. Uh-oh. Oh, 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 an epic. Hell yeah. Apple redeemed an epic holiday loot box. Hell yeah. Seals Apple. There is your epic holiday loot box. Oh no, oh no! <laughs> I gotta pause it. We're gonna draw our next line. Maybe our next two lines. We'll see what we got. Oh no, not the, the drying pan. Big issue. <laughs> That's a real big issue. Let's see what else we got. Wait. <laughs> Some of the chaos pencils fade away and are nowhere to be seen. Wait, weren't those missing for like a millennia? <laughs> All right, well. <laughs> Gas pencils are gone. Alright. I'm okay with this. Just, I had no fucking idea what was going on. Kind of like this. Nobody cares, they're just gone. What? Sleepy! Yeah, the chaos pencils. No, no, that's it's the, the, the bootleg versions of the Infinity Stones. But now they're gone. I guess they're gone? 
<laughs> now pencils are gone. Welcome, Sleepy. There's our plot. Oh no, our plot. It's broken. Oh wait, it's been broken from the start. <laughs> Oh, wait. I want to try and find... I don't know where... I don't know what we're going to do from here. I want... Okay, let me get text-to-speech. Let's find a good text-to-speech to read this to us. Here we go. Let's, let's, get, let's get a robotic... A robotic retelling of everything we've written so far. Who do we want to read it to us? Uh, David sounds nice. Chad writes a story number three. Setting. Carly's Underwater Palace. Hmm. In the year 1912. Characters. Grammy Chili and Bootleg P.K. Chug. Title. Carly was feeling bored, so she decided to call up Grandma Shirley <laughs> like and David. Oh no. oh no! Oh no! All of a Wait, sudden, we'll pause. What about what about Mark? All of a sudden, Carly woke up from her weird fantasies, remembering that she went on vacation and called on Grandma Chili and bootleg Pikachu to take care of the house while she was gone. Grandma Chili started to bake a pie for when Carly returned home, but inside this pie. Bootleg Pikachu had okay. to jump scare anyone that tried to eat it. Carly could see everything through the nanny cams she had set up throughout the underwater palace. Carly was set in a tad bit angry because she was looking forward to the delicious looking pie. Alas. She cannot be upset with her lord and savior. Bootleg Pikachu. And the wonderful Grandma Chili. Bella. Carly's cat. Had just come in from her scuba diving lesson. If Carly was a pilot, Bella was going to be contrary and become a scuba diver. Bella had become an accomplished wreck diver and just finished a dive on the S. S. Bardowl. S. S. Bardowl was a unique place, it held one of the rip-off Infinity Sto I mean. The Chaos Pencils which control the world. S. S. Bardowl was the biggest ship with the largest poop deck. She was a beautiful sight to even the greenest people. The other five chaos pencils are mostly unknown. But one was last seen with a wooden chair. But that's probably irrelevant. The six chaos pencils. Spread to the farthest reaches of the universe. Held untold power. When combined they would give the holder the power to bend the very fabric of time and space to their will. The chaos pencils. The most powerful writing utensils in all the world could be used to rewrite any moment in history. Unfortunately, what Bella had found was the bootleg chaos pencil, which let her have the power to bend people to shopping at Target. The group went to Target, and a strange employee named Watermelon Gui said welcome to Target in a depressing voice. And then a robber came in and shot at the melon lad. What? But Watermelon Gui shot back and got the what? hit and killed the robber. With the chaos pencil, Bella turned Water Mlongui into the unthinkable pineapple gi. The target employees start to scramble. But bootleg Pikachu enters into a western cowboy style standoff at high noon with pineapple gi. Pineapple gi tries to stop Bella. But it's too late. It's too late. Bootleg Pikachu already won. But then. There they were. Standing bright for all to see. A halo like effect seemed to make them larger than life. The store manager of all store managers. Rat Lord Alley. Oh, as shots rang out, Alley, right? Bella dove behind a display of decorative hand towels. She thudded into something solid but soft and heard a low grunt. Looking up, she realized the body that stopped her momentum was none other than Archduke Flans Ferdinand, who had come to buy various home goods. Bella was taken aback by the man's fancy garb and wise eyes feeling deep inside that this was the person she was looking for. This man would lead her to the third chaos pencil. And one step closer to realizing her dream. Bella should have just Bella hung around because apparently they were all there. Her magical flying crockpot. 
Right behind her was Archduke Flans Ferdinand on his flying bathroom suite. Somehow. Pineapple he raised from the dead in reversed time. Pineapple he then decided to quit his job and be a free lad. But he fell off a cliff and died. And the gang watched. But Pineapple he said. I'm okay. Thanks for asking. <laughs> Meanwhile. In a white void at an empty desk with a chair in the middle of it. A notebook lays open and a chaos pencil lays beside it. Just then. A mysterious force picks up the pencil and starts writing. There are villainous laughs as the scene fades back to target. The chaos pencils that were once controlling the situation were now flying all over the place and sliced some of the employees. Disintegrating them on touch. I'm sorry you all had to see that. Can I offer you a trusty frying pan as compensation? Ritlor Dolly howled as they smacked one of the chaos pencils away from a terrified employee. It flew up and stuck in the ceiling. It can also be used as a drying pan. They added with a wry smile. Then the drying pan started to fade away. Which was a big issue. <laughs> Suddenly the chaos pencils fade away and are nowhere to be seen, wait. Weren't those missing for like millennia? Eh. Whatever. I don't get paid enough for this anyway. <laughs> the chaos pencils are now gone again. Even the only one that we knew about. Nobody really seems to care about this though. Chad, yeah, where do we go? Where do we go from here? Where do we go from here, Chad? The pencils are gone. They're gone. It had so much potential. It did. We had a plot. I was so excited. I was like, oh man, we're going to look for the chaos pencils. There's there's a plot. There's things happening. We've got characters that are trying to do things. And then we got the target. Then we arrived at target. And it was just like, welp. Um, where do we go from here, chat? I'm going to start the, uh, the program reading chat. Where do you where, where where do you want to go from here? I don't I don't know. I don't know where to go from here. I don't even know what's going on anymore. <laughs> chapter two. Okay, we can do. Okay, chapter two. Oh, we're gonna have multiple chapters. Oh, this is a first. We've never had multiple chapters. Chapter two. Right, chapter two is happening. How do we start chapter two? How do we start chapter two? <laughs> it's happening. I've already I've made the executive decision. What happens? What? How do we start chapter two? I guess we have two. We have we have a chapter one also. In chapter two. <laughs> Start off chapter two. Oh, oh Carly's got the chaos pencil. <gasps> the drama. The drama. What a drama. We'll wait, we'll wait and see if some other folks have some other some other starters to contribute. For the start of chapter two. <laughs> oh no, we're going, we're going the route of chat writes a story one and two where someone wakes up and it's like, oh, the whole thing was a dream. <laughs> Did we forget about the like the cloaked figure at the end of of chat writes a story number two? When Bard woke up and it was like a fever dream, but there was like a cloaked figure outside. <laughs> oh no, that's gonna be the epilogue. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know if we forgot about that. <laughs> oh, Plato, that's that's just becoming a thing. <laughs> Chapter one doesn't get a title though. Chapter one is just chapter one. <laughs> I 
Oh no, I love that everyone's going the dream route. Okay, I gotta pause it and we're gonna draw. There we go. Oh no, it's the only one! <laughs> it's the only one that's not! <laughs> it's the only one that's not... <laughs> not dream related. <laughs> Would Carly say y'all and looking? <laughs> Can we put the chapter title? Yes. There we go, chapter two. Cro Bella Crockpot Boogaloo. <laughs> Skip song. <laughs> You would? Okay. <laughs> uh, Alright, so, um... What, what is their reaction? Also, who's there? We said the gang. Does that involve everyone? Does that mean Bella, Flans, Ferdinand, Grandma Chili, Boy Pikachu, uh... I think it's everybody. I think it's a, is, that, is everybody there? <laughs> oh no, I'm picturing Bella just being like, meow, 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 <laughs> trying to explain. <laughs> I don't know, Bella flew off with Flans Ferdinand. That was like... That was the, the plot point back here. Bella then flew out of Target on her magical flying crockpot. Right behind her was Archduke Flans Ferdinand. On his on his flying bathroom suite. <laughs> oh no, Flannel, they've forgotten about you. They've forgotten about you. Big Bobard's just peeking through the window. Oh no, hey Odai, welcome on in. Welcome to Chaos Personified. That's 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 all this is. That's all this is. It's just it's just chaos personified. <laughs> you have to promise to use them to save the Titanic and Flans Ferdinand. Hell yeah. Oh no, he might be a bookshelf now. Oh no. Oh no, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pause, I'm gonna pause in 30 seconds. <laughs> I got another jump scare pie. Alright, I'm gonna pause, and we're gonna draw one. Oh! <laughs> I gotta draw another one, because there are other good ones, but this is funny. another one. Oh, it really, it really likes that one. Okay, here we go. The gang is thrilled.
Contact T A M I C. My jump scare? Oh. Oh, you don't want to see my jump scare, Lizzie. <laughs> 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 you don't want to see my jump scare, Glizzy. Um. <laughs> oh, no. oh, Apple, thank you so much. I appreciate that so much. <laughs> the <laughs> jump scare cookery, yeah. That's that's what I specialize in. <laughs> if it uh, if it if it doesn't if it doesn't scare you. It'll probably hit you with microwave radiation because they're made in the microwave. It could be that is that is true. Flannel, I'm really I, I've really left I've really left an impact flannel. Usually you're the one that yells at me for making potentially inappropriate euphemisms. And I'm pretty sure this is the second one you've made today. <laughs> All right, I gonna start it again. Let me know what we've got. We've got a question. We've got a question. We got a proposition for what the the pencils have to be used for. <laughs> What's their response? <laughs> what do you mean, Brady? Boy, Pikachu talks to everybody all the time. <laughs> Boule Pikachu has whole conversations with you. <laughs> Aww. Oh, what? I don't. I feel like. I feel like Bella might have some ulterior motives. Oh, that is true. 1912 Boule Pikachu couldn't talk. <laughs> this was a more primitive Boule Pikachu. <laughs> Boulet Pikachu didn't learn how to talk in, until they met me. Oh, Swatch three of them off. Okay. Oh, that seems dangerous. That seems really dangerous. What's gonna happen when when they get swatted off the table? Oh no! Oh, I didn't even think. Did Rattler and Alley come back to? <laughs> To Carly's Underwater Palace with us? The manager of Target? <laughs> oh, that's right. There's still there's still a subplot that we're pushing for where, where Bella is actually a princess. I forgot about that. That has not made it into the story yet. <laughs> that has not made it in yet. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, boy, Pikachu, that's a deal you can absolutely trust me. That's that's a 100% absolutely. I'm definitely, I'm definitely not going to try and blow up the universe. I would never do that. Well, I would. Bella insists upon their story response. I would never try to turn the universe into Reese's Pieces just for the sake of I like Reese's Pieces. All right, we, we got we got Bard's, Bard's responses going in. Still, I'm still gonna pick another one and see if we can make it work. 
Oh, yeah, pick another one. We're going to see if we can make it work. Oh, pick. Oh, no, that's a different one. So we'll watch over. Right, we'll just... Because Bello technically already agreed. We'll, we'll still use this, but we're going to use the next line. You sent me a new picture of Bella. <gasps> of what Bella's up to right now. Ooh. Oh, that's adorable. Wait, we gotta... This is just gonna become a Bella stream slowly. This is just slowly gonna become a Bella stream. That's freaking adorable. Um, <laughs> that flew. <laughs> uh, I mean, one more. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey, uh. <laughs> I don't know. Is this what it was? This what hey, uh, boo, a Pikachu would sound like. <laughs> In, in text form, hey, um, bootleg Pikachu. <laughs> Maybe this should go earlier. Maybe this should go before, before the portal is drawn. Rattler Dally wants to gift a pack of stream loot to Flannel again. Oh, hell yeah, the Flannel. Thank you so much, Ally. Add that in? Okay, I thought that was just explanation. My bad, I didn't know that was part of a part of a line. There we go, it's added. It's added! Um, so we got a portal to 1912. That's a thing. That's a plot point. Um, what happens when they go through the portal? Flame I have started it reading. A pack of stream oh, right hell back yeah. At you, Allie. Well, hell yeah, Flannel. Thank you so much. Um, uh, we made a portal to 1912. So I guess not. Haha. <laughs> It was never established in the text that we were in 1912. So that was that was never established. So we've we've never established what year we're actually in for the first chapter. Thank you so much Apple, you freaking legend. I really appreciate it. No! <laughs> oh no, Brady! <laughs> you know, time's a time's a funny thing, Bard. <laughs> they were they were also at a Target. <laughs> when was the first Target? There, I don't think there were Targets in 1912. Target store. Uh, I don't know what whatever year it opened. Target Corporation. 1962. <laughs> so there's already some plot holes. <laughs> Phoenix to Flame, welcome on in! Welcome on in, Raiders! How are you doing, Phoenix? Thank you so much for the raid, I really appreciate it. Whoa! 
welcome. How was your stream, Phoenix? How did everything go? Long time no see. How have you been? For everyone, everyone popping in and to the wonderful Phoenix, we're doing a lovely little exercise this evening called Chat Writes a Story. Chat is is writing a story. I mean, it's exactly what it sounds like. <laughs> we got this cool thing up in the top right corner that is recording messages in chat, which we can randomly pick from. So right now, um, everyone's everyone's uh, writing the next line of the story or the next couple lines of the story, whatever they feel like writing. And we're going to add it to the story and eventually we'll have a nightmare fuel story of who knows what. Um, we've created the bootleg Infinity Stones, also known as the Chaos Pencils. <laughs> I, to be honest, I have never seen... I saw one of the Star Trek movies. But it was, like, the more recent one. Actually, I think I may have seen two of them. I think there was, like, two of the more recent ones I've seen. You've been busy at school. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Phoenix. I hope things are going fantastic for you. I think... I hope things are going absolutely fantastic for you. I'm gonna give everyone another 30 seconds to type up responses. And then... We're going to draw the next line of the story. It's been good. Hell yeah. That's what I like to hear. Wait, 1902? The Wikipedia page said... Oh, this does... Oh, the corporation was... Found... Oh, oh, the store. The store was founded in 1962. The corporation was founded in 1902. I think that's weird. I could have sworn I saw 1962. The Target stores were founded in 1962. Alright, we're gonna pause and we're gonna draw until we get one that's. Oh, Carly cautions them. I have reason to believe that our arch enemy boot. Pika Leg Chew. Oh. Oh. Oh, we're introducing an arch nemesis. <laughs> oh, Phoenix, thank you so much. Thank you so much again for the raid. I hope you have a fantastic evening. Please get a good night's sleep. I hope you get the best the best night's sleep possible. Thank you so much for, for the raid. Thank you for stopping by. I appreciate it so much. I hope you have the best possible night. Cool. Uh, we really believe that our arch enemy who Pika Pika Leg Chew is then 1912. We need to do a poll for something. Mm. Rattler Daily insists upon their story response. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's see. Story response. The game steps through the portal on, onto the deck of the Titanic. It is nighttime and the air is chilly. Oh. Oh, the night is. The air is real chilly. I can just go right after this. Okay, we can do a poll. What if? What if? While I type this, what if we we arrive on the deck of the Titanic? I mean, we've we've arrived there. We're on the deck of the Titanic. But what if we meet somebody there? Don't type. Don't type anything in yet, because I have not. I haven't started recording anything yet. Oh. Brady Boy 2018 oh, wants to change, to change line. a line in the story. What would you? What line would you like to change? The air is ch chilly. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's just like little atomic J chilies in the air. Bart said it first. <laughs> After Carly talks about boot Pika Leg Chew. 
No, no, Brady, we're not doing that. <laughs> no, 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 we're not doing that, Brady. I'll send your card back. We're not doing that. <laughs> we're not doing that. We already had Watermelon Guy do that. <laughs> There's, there's no reason to bring yourself into the story just to kill yourself off. Who are you? George R. R. Martin? Alright. So let's let's say this. We want a poll. What if... PK Chuck... <laughs> it's just so nobody else can do it. I, I sent your card back to you. I say your card back. They could still do it because we're in the past now. Um, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start the recorder again. Give me some characters that we could potentially meet on the Titanic when we arrive on the Titanic. Back in modern, modern time, Cario's taken out. Okay, we can just have that. There we go. Pocket the cat! Oh! Oh, imagine Pocket the cat on uh, on the Titanic. Bardow's fictional mother. Daddy Freddy! I'm really sad that Daddy Freddy has not made an appearance yet. I'm, tr I'm pushing real hard, Allie. Pickles the parakeet, yes! For anyone that doesn't doesn't know or wasn't here when um when um when we played Sonic Forces, I made this horrifying bird character as our OC and it was it was Pickles the Parakeet. <laughs> Cause it was this hideous like mold lime green bird. Glamrock Daddy Freddy <laughs> John Meowland I love that. <laughs> a large bowl of soup. Mmm, good soup. Just a large bowl of soup. <laughs> oh no, I wish Vanny I wish Vanny got more screen time. Vanny should have gotten more screen time. But apparently, Brady, there is a thing in the code of security breach where there was like a toggle. For Vanny to randomly appear if like you were in a place for too long and they just had it turned off so apparently that was originally gonna be the mechanic like if you fucked around too long Vanny would just randomly show up as like a deterrent from you not progressing and they just forgot either forgot to turn it on or they just decided not to turn it on probably because it created more issues all right Here's what we're gonna do. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna give you 30 seconds. And then I'm gonna pause it. So 30 seconds to get in any more names. I'm pausing. We're gonna draw. Pickles the parakeet, yes! <laughs> we're gonna do a poll. I'm gonna, I'm gonna draw three. Pickles the parakeet. Where goes the parakeet? Pocket the cat. Oh, this is gonna be a tough one. A painting of a French girl. All right, there we go. <laughs> Three minute poll. <laughs> Do four. I did three. It's too late. I already did three. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, I already did three. The poll has started. If we can do a second character, they can meet two characters. Were the first two flannels? I honestly didn't look. I honestly haven't been looking at whose they were. I'm sorry. Bardal wants to sway the vote. Oh, painting, painting of a French, French girl. girl. Okay. Okay. Um. Alright, so, new characters, we'll do two, P 
painting of a French girl. <laughs> Flannel source wants to sway oh, the vote. Pocket. Oh, pocket. <laughs> pocket. Pocket the cat. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not. I haven't even seen the poll. Oh, pocket the cat is winning. <laughs> <laughs> I know I know Apple's very happy about this. I'll let uh, I'll let the poll I'll let the poll run down <laughs> and then we'll do a second character. <laughs> Ultra Pocket Cat, oh no. Oh no Bard No 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 fighting. Who's fighting? Wait, who's fighting? Why are we fighting? It's not it's not fighting if you use a card. No. I don't believe that. Oh, go fish. That's you know what? That's how we should settle all disputes in the modern world. We should all just play go fish. That should be the new means with which we, like, forget forget war, forget all that, those kinds of things. Go fish. That's how all conflict is going to be settled in the future. So you could hold me to it. In the future. In the future of Glizzytopia, all conflict will be solved via go fish. Oh, the chaos dice. The chaos light dice. That's a one. Uh, I think a one is a hydrate. I think. I think a one's a hydrate. It is a hydrate. Thank you so much. Flannel source doesn't think you need your oh. shield for the next thirty minutes. You know what? No shield for the rest of the night, flannel. Thank you so much, Apple. All right, so we got Pack the Cat, and then let's draw. We'll draw four this time. We'll draw four. Ranch. Was, was Ranch Rattler one of the? Rattler thinks you should rock sunglasses for the next five minutes. Was Ranch a contribution to the characters? Ranch so to the character. Oh, I'm putting Ranch in. Okay, was well, a contribution. Okay. Brady Boy 2018 wants you to use the following weapon for the next combat encounter: a mouse. Oh, a mouse! Oh, you got it. You got it. I'll just, I'll just, you know, it's got this this wire on it. Probably like swing it around like a flail. I'm not going to try to because I'll probably injure myself. Pickles the parakeet's up again. I'm gonna okay this because I want it's Pickles the parakeet. Like, I don't know. Like... <gasps> Sauce. Sloth, you were streaming! Oh, Sloth, welcome! Welcome, Raiders! Sloth, how are you? Man, I can't see I can't see chat right now because I am drawing characters that we're going to vote on for who who's going to be in. Is Chulip? Chulip's technically not a... Chulip considered a character? Chulip wouldn't be considered a character, I don't think. Do we do we want to throw? Here, we'll th I did throw. I did throw pickles the parakeet in again. Painting of French girl. I will. I will take a peek at chat in one hot sec. I'm so sorry. I've got the poll up. Nobody but Leonardo DiCaprio. <laughs> Just Leo. There we go. There we go. New poll for a second character when they arrive at the Titanic. Sloth. Oh no, your stream died. Oh, Sloth, I'm so sorry. Uh, so, welcome on in. This is the magic that is Chat Writes a Story. Um, in fact, we'll we'll do a re we'll do Our a recount of the story. The Leo, Leo and only Leo. Leo. Alright, you got it. <laughs> you got it. Leo and only Leo. <laughs> well, it's not and only Leo, because Pocket the Cat is also there. <laughs> 
I guess Leo, just Leo in pocket. <laughs> yes, this is Noah. Welcome on in, my friend. But yeah, so the cool thing about this is I have this nifty little thing in the top right hand corner. Oh, painting of a French girl. Oh. Okay. Uh, right now, we're, we have a poll going. The poll doesn't matter anymore unless you have one of these stream loot cards because there are cards in our stream loot deck to sway votes. And there is currently a war going on between uh, whether we want Leo, just Leo, Leo DiCaprio, um, or uh, Painting of a French Girl, which I'm not 100% sure what is. I'm going to have to look that up. <laughs> Oh, Allie, I'm so sorry. <laughs> but I have this nifty little thing up in the top right corner. When you type in chat when it's recording, um, it will randomly draw from messages in chat. So I had folks type in names of characters that they might want to see in the story. Uh, and then we're doing a poll out of four of them to determine who else is going to be in the story. Oh, it's real. I have a, it's confession time, Allie. Confession time. I've never seen Titanic. Big confession Cartel time. Wants to sway the vote. <laughs> Only Leo. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've never I've never seen the Titanic. I'm so sorry. Oh no, I'm sorry, Carly. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I don't know how long the cooldown is. <laughs> I, I've seen some movies. <laughs> like a couple to tree. <laughs> oh, Apple, that sounds amazing. That sounds absolutely amazing. If, if, it, if it helps, I know how Titanic ends. I was spoiled to the ending. <laughs> Final source wants to change a line oh, in the story. What line would you like to change? No, Allie! <laughs> Allie, I would miss you! <laughs> I would miss you! I, I, I'm not a big I'm not a big movie watcher. <laughs> <laughs> the one introducing Leo, he has to be holding a painting of a French girl. Okay. Okay. Oh, Sloth, I've missed you. I'm so glad to see you're back streaming. Are you back streaming, like, on a regular basis? Was it a, a one-time thing? Um, I, want, I do, before we move on, since we've got, we've got some new friends here, um, we're gonna do, we're gonna do a recap. We're gonna do a story recap. Let me pause the music. We've got, I've got a lovely, a lovely robotic assistant that is all too willing to read the story to us. Uh, how did we feel about Mark, Chat? Did we like Mark or do we want a different narrator this time? Do we still want Mark or do we want a different narrator? You liked Mark? Okay. Oh, you're playing It Takes Two? Oh, that game looks so good. That game looks so good. What do you think of it, Sloth? All right, here we go. Story recap time. I'll be quiet for the story recap. Chat writes a story number three. Setting. Carly's Underwater Palace. In the year 1912. Characters. Grammy Chili and Bootleg Pikachu. Title. Chapter 1. Carly was feeling bored so she decided to call up Grandma Chili and Bootleg Pikachu. All of a sudden. Carly woke up from her weird fantasies. Remembering that she went on vacation and called on Grandma Chili and Bootleg Pikachu to take care of the house while she was gone. Grandma Chili started to bake a pie for when Carly returned home. But inside this pie, Bootleg Pikachu had to jump scare anyone that tried to eat it. Carly could see everything through the nanny cams she had set up throughout the underwater palace. Carly was set in a tad bit angry because she was looking forward to the delicious looking pie. Alas. She cannot be upset with her lord and savior. Bootleg Pikachu. And the wonderful Grandma Chili. Bella. Carly's cat. Had just come in from her scuba diving lesson. If Carly was a pilot. Bella was going to be contrary and become a scuba diver. That's Bella on the top of the Bella screen. had become an accomplished wreck diver and just finished a dive on the S. S. 
Bardowl. S. S. Bardowl was a unique place, it held one of the rip-off Infinity Sto I mean. The Chaos Pencils which control the world. S. S. Bardowl was the biggest ship with the largest poop deck. She was a beautiful sight to even the greenest people. The other five Chaos Pencils are mostly unknown. But one was last seen with a wooden chair. But that's probably irrelevant. The six Chaos Pencils. Spread to the farthest reaches of the universe. <laughs> held untold power. When combined they would give the holder the power to bend the very fabric of time and space to their will. The Chaos Pencils. The most powerful writing utensils in all the world. Could be used to rewrite any moment in history. Unfortunately. What Bella had found was the bootleg Chaos Pencil. Which let her have the power to bend people to shopping at Target. The group went to Target. And a strange employee named Watermelong Wee said welcome to Target in a depressing voice. And then a robber came in and shot at the melon lad. But Watermelong Wee shot back and got the hit and killed the robber. With the chaos pencil. Bella turned Watermelong Wee into the unthinkable pineapple gee. The Target employees start to scramble. But bootleg Pikachu enters into a western cowboy style standoff at high noon with pineapple gee. Pineapple Gee tries to stop Bella. But it's too late. Bootleg Pikachu already won. But then. There they were. Standing bright for all to see. A halo-like effect seemed to make them larger than life. The store manager of all store managers. Rat Lord Alley. As shots rang out. Bella dove behind a display of decorative hand towels. She thudded into something solid but soft and heard a low grunt. Looking up, she realized the body that stopped her momentum was none other than Archduke Flans Ferdinand, who had come to buy various home goods. Bella was taken aback by the man's fancy garb and wise eyes, feeling deep inside that this was the person she was looking for. This man would lead her to the third chaos pencil, and one step closer to realizing her dream. Bella then flew out of the target on her magical flying crockpot. Right behind her was Archduke Flans Ferdinand on his flying bathroom suite. Somehow. Pineapple raised from the dead in reversed time. Pineapple then decided to quit his job and Bart, be a thank you so much. But he fell off a cliff and died. And the gang watched. But Pineapple said. I'm okay. Thanks for asking. <laughs> Meanwhile. In a white void at an empty desk with a chair in the middle of it. Oh no. A notebook lays open and a chaos pencil lays beside it. Just then. A mysterious force picks up the pencil and starts writing. There are villainous laughs as the scene fades back to target. They were trying real the hard. The chaos pencils that were once controlling the situation were now flying all over the place and sliced some of the employees. Some of you were trying real hard to have an actual plot. <laughs> I'm sorry you all had to see that. Can I offer you a trusty frying pan as compensation? Rit Lord Ali howled as they smacked one of the chaos pencils away from a terrified employee. It flew up and stuck in the ceiling. It can also be used as a drying pan. They added with a wry smile. Then the drying pan started to fade away. Which was a big issue. Suddenly the chaos pencils fade away and are nowhere to be seen, wait. Weren't those missing for like millennia? Eh. Whatever. I don't get paid enough for this anyway, so. The chaos pencils are now gone again. Even the only one that we knew about. Nobody really seems to care about this though. Chapter 2, Chapter Bella two. Crockpot Boogaloo. <laughs> Carly returns home from her music conference and discovers the chaos that has ensued. After hearing the gang's wild story, she reaches into her bag and pulls out the chaos pencils. Oh. Y'all look in for these? Grandma Chili was too busy making another jump scare pie. The gang, aside from Grandma Chili, is thrilled. Before Carly hands over the pencils. She says. Before I give them to you. You have to promise to use these to save the Titanic and Flans Ferdinand. Deal? Bella nods and nuzzles Carly's hand affectionately. Carly gives her pets because she's such a sweet baby. Laying the pencils on the table in front of her. She says. I trust you. Bella immediately swats them off the table. She's been a cat too long. She couldn't resist. 
Hey. Uh. I'm bootleg Pikachu. That's a deal. You can absolutely trust me. Grandma Chili says they'll watch over everyone on the journey. Brit Lordily takes one of the pencils and draws a portal to 1912. Carly cautions them. I have reason to believe that our arch enemy but PK Legku is in 1912. The gang steps through the portal and onto the deck of the Titanic. It is nighttime and the air chilly. Back in modern time. Carly goes to take a nap. New characters. Pocket the cat and only Leo. <laughs> I don't, I don't know if the back in modern time Carly goes to take a nap was supposed to be in the story or if that was Carly tell you, telling us that she was going to take a nap. <laughs> Alright, well, we've got... There you go, everybody, everybody's up to speed now. <laughs> do, do we all understand the very intricate plot that's going on? Also, that is, that is Bella in the top left-hand corner. <laughs> <laughs> the uh that last slide the back in modern times i wasn't sure if that was supposed to be for the story or if you were actually going to take a nap carly <laughs> and i just added that in <laughs> all right let's get the there we go all right let's let's introduce let's introduce pocket and leo it's for the story okay <laughs> I'm starting. I'm starting the reader. So the way this works is you just type something in chat and then... Who's king in the streets? Oh. Who's daddy in the streets? Oh, our favorite sound clip. That little, that little doodad up in the top right corner will record your messages. So you type in a sentence or a paragraph that you want to come next. So right now we're trying to introduce Pocket the Cat, who was the cat from uh, Boyfriend Dungeon, and Leonardo DiCaprio from from the titanic so, i mean that's very fitting um but leonardo dicaprio has to be holding a painting painting of a french something french painting of a french girl is that what it was french girl okay i thought so get let me get the music back on preferably something without that lyrics so because i know that that throws folks that throws me off when i'm writing too so painting of a friend something <laughs> there's a painting of a big <laughs> that sounds amazing i would hang up a painting of a big no hesitation i'd have it right right over my shoulder here so that I can all you could always look over my shoulder and know what's on my mind. It's a baguette. It's always a baguette. It's always been a baguette since day one. <laughs> I was born thinking of baguettes. <laughs> Brady. <laughs> I guess the eye of uh, out, of, out of painting of a French girl. Oh, there's some guy hole. Oh, there's just there's some guy, <laughs> some guy holding it. <laughs> hey, hey, a, hey, hey a guy. Dash ducks. Dash ducks. Hell yeah, we can get a shout out for dash ducks. Hey, uh, guy, do you uh, do you mind moving? I'm trying to look at your painting. I'm trying to look at your painting. Oh, look, there's ducks in it this time. We actually got ducks this time. This is Megalovania. It's a uh, it's a, a lo-fi mix by the Game Chops. The Game Chops are fantastic. Yeah, that ducks getting really up close and personal. Getting really up close and personal. That's a goose. I think it's a is is it is it a goose or is it a duck? Or, I think it's a duck. If it's not a duck, then Dash Ducks keeps lying to me. Last time it was chickens. On the Dash Ducks channel. <laughs> what is that duck doing? I was like, no, this is my camera. This camera is lunch. I shall eat the camera. I shall eat the camera. Eat the camera. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, I was just, I was watching ducks and now I'm scared. I'm gonna, does anybody else, would anybody else like to contribute a potential line? A potential line for the story. 
Oh, there's still lines coming. Okay. Yeah, the Turtles and Chill are so much better than the Ducks. Like, even the music over in Turtles and Chill is on point. Turtles and Chill is on point. I need to find out what their what their soundtrack is. They've got some good music over there. They got some good jams. Okay, I'm gonna pause and we're gonna draw until we get an actual response to the story. No. <laughs> uh oh, there we go. The gang the gang's on the Titanic and all of a sudden. Bella notices a unique face. Oh, we got the otters. Is this otters? Wait, no, I don't know this one. Marine Mammal Rescue. Those are otters. That's adorable. Enjoy some otters while I, I type in the next line of our story. Saw Siren wants to gift a pack of stream loot to, for Flannel to be a pain in the, broken heart, broken heart, broken <laughs> heart. Thank you so much, Sloth. I really appreciate that. Unique face. Bella slowly walks towards... Pocket the cat. Giving a friendly meow. Pain in the broken heart. <laughs> uh, let's see if we can get one with Leo. Leo, where are you at? Where are you at, Leo? Where are you at? Oh. Leo! Leo! Did anybody? I thought somebody typed a Leo. Oh, Your oh. fans are watching you oh. right now. That's stressful. I know. That's real stressful. All right, wait. I'm just scrolling. You typed a Leo, and I'm just finding it. I'm just finding it because <laughs> the program's struggling because there's so many other messages. Freezing air whips around them. And a young man with stunning blue eyes. That's not how you spell blue. Blue eyes runs up to them. Holds up a painting of a lovely girl in nothing but a hooray. And shouts, Have you seen this girl? They all stare for a moment, confused. Ah, oh, you threw off my crew. I passed your Leo one. What was your Leo one? I did. I know I came around to the Soft the pocket one. Chocolate bootleg Pikachu. <laughs> hey, uh, bootleg Pikachu here. Um, I'm on the Titanic right now. There's some shit going down. We met Pocket the Cat. Pocket the Cat is my favorite, my favorite video game cat of all time. Right alongside uh, bootleg Meowth. I'm not real Meowth because you know real mouth Meowth is overrated. But bootleg Meowth is my favorite, my favorite. Uh, no, my second favorite <laughs> fictional video game cat. But the first one is is Pocket the Cat. Pocket the Cat is my number one favorite. Uh, but now, what I need to know, very important thing, very important. We've we've met we've met a young man with a painting of a uh, of of a an almost naked young lady. As as a sentient hat, I have no interest in that. But Pocket the Cat, on the other hand, I'm a big fan of. Um, I need I need some lines for what's going to happen next. Bear in mind, we have just a little over an hour left of the stream. We got to start wrapping things up. 
we got to start wrapping things up. So Boulay Pikachu's given the, like, you know, the the little, like, tap in the, on the watch gesture because uh, it's, 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 it's getting to that time. If you send if you send me a pet picture on Discord, can it go on the screen too? You know, why not? This stream is just chaos personified. Why not? Why not? No explanation. Why not? We'll just put it we'll put it up on the top there along with Bella. Or we'll put it like down the bottom. Bella Bella gets the top. The top is reserved for Bella. But it could go like in the bottom corner. If you played a card to extend the stream by an hour, the stream would be extended for an hour. If you were to do that, the stream would be extended for an hour. A young Martian showed up out of nowhere and said, Hip, hip, hippity haddle? I got a skedaddle. Martian, what are you doing in 1912 on the Titanic? What are you doing there? <laughs> what are you doing on the Titanic, Martian? <laughs> How did you get to 1912? Carly 51 oh, see that? wants you to stream for an hour longer. See that now? Now you've got you got two hours and 15 minutes. So I guess never mind. I'm rescinding the hurry up gesture, and uh, <laughs> I'm rescinding it. And now we'll be here for another two hours and 15 minutes. So you don't have to hurry up. We could have like 16 chapters at this rate. 16 chapters of the adventures of uh oh who i don't even of me just me <laughs> i don't i'm bully pikachu i don't i don't care about any of the other characters i only care about myself because i'm in the story <laughs> oh thank goodness bully pikachu oh oh sweat off my brow bully pikachu's gone we're safe again <laughs> We're safe again. All right, I gotta pause. I gotta pause before we get like too many messages and we run into the same issue. And we're gonna draw. She's completely naked except a necklace. Not not a beret. Does she have a beret and a necklace? <laughs> oh, I'm like Pikachu. No, but she sure is smoking hot. If you find her, let me know. I'll, uh, I, I just said, were you not? I just said, I don't, I don't, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a hat. <laughs> but you know, I, I've got, I've got friends that might be interested. Like, uh, like chat, chat might be interested. And a big yet. Yeah, she's got a big yet. <laughs> <laughs> Bleg. Pikachu shakes his head. <laughs> no. But she sure is smoking hot. If you find her, let me know. She's got to have a beret. How else do we know she... Oh, no! <laughs> wait, wait, where is the big get hidden? Oh, we've got we've got more pet pictures. Oh, we're getting more pet, get pet pictures everywhere. Oh, that's a wonderful pet flannel. I really like that. I like that. That's a wonderful pet. There we go. Clicked off of it. I just kind of want it down here, like looking over the stream. Like it's not, it's not really there. It's just kind of like, hey, what's going on here? What is this shit? <laughs> what is this shit? <laughs> uh, uh oh. Oh, I've got I got a picture of Porsche. He lives above your computer. Oh, we got Porsche. This is just becoming a pet showcase stream. I don't even have a pet. All right, Porsche. Right on the bottom. You put yours in the pet showcase. Okay. Oh, Bart also sent me one. <laughs> I 
<laughs> what even is what even is chat writes a story? What's your favorite animal? Oh, oh, hotline! Oh, hotline! You're just in time for the pet showcase. Hotline can send a picture of Dusty. I'm here, fucker. <laughs> no. <laughs> hey, wait! The pet showcase. Sleepy. <laughs> Oh, CP also put up a picture! <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> welcome, welcome to Chat Rates a Story, also known as the Pet Showcase! Pet Showcase. Hi, Lily! <laughs> Hi, Lily! <laughs> <laughs> we uh we've lost we've lost control. We've lost control. <laughs> I'm running out of room along the border. <laughs> I'm running out of room. <laughs> There's a wonderful story behind them. There's a wonderful story that chat wrote. At the moment, my download folder is just full of pictures of cats that aren't even my cat, because I don't have a cat. Then the coup de grace. We've got none other, none other than the absolutely legendary smooching machine, Dusty. The smooching machine. There it is, Dusty. Well, your popper, wait, did you send, did you send another one? Oh, wait, you sent another one. You sent another one. I'm out of room, this is the last one, I'm out of room. I'm out of room, wait, wait where, where'd that one go? Oh, it's over there. I'm out of room, I'm officially out of room. Yeah, it's a lot. <laughs> you mean sources? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, uh, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two sources right now. <laughs> Yeah, there goes, there's the extra hour. <laughs> I mean, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten are just pets. <laughs> ten of them are just pets. A majority of the other ones are, uh, are notifications. Like, there's a stream loot notification, the regular notifications, uh, the shout-out player, the timer for stream loots. Which all of that is now underneath the pets. Hang on, I've gotta I've gotta layer these down under all the, the notifications. There we go.
You sent a picture of Meowstro. We'll we'll make we'll make room for Meowstro, Apple. We'll make room for Meowstro. We'll make it happen. Is just over here on the side. Well, we can probably like scooch. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. We can we can scooch some over. There we go. The pet showcase. <laughs> welcome, welcome to chat rates a story where I just put eleven. 11 pet pictures on screen there none of them are my pet i don't even have a pet i've got i've got a pet bootleg pikachu i got a pet bootleg pikachu that's all i got <laughs> that's my pet <laughs> welcome um i was gonna draw another line because we had others they also went back away uh, okay. drawing a couple from each one <laughs> otherwise we're never we're never gonna reach the end <laughs> we're never gonna reach the end of this story we have so many loose plot threads Carly's. Hell yeah, we can. Oh, oh. Wait, here, we'll put it before this. place where the guys are on. oh okay i'm totally don't they missed the iceberg uh i gotta clear it give me give me some more stuff i'm gonna pick a couple give me some more stuff a mere puppeteer welcome on in my friend you like to write poems and you start writing a book <gasps> tell us about your book my friend i have two two published books at the moment i'm working on a third one we are we're all a big fan of of writing and books and all kinds of good stuff motivation um write about things they enjoy and also don't force yourself only write when when you're in when you're in the mood to write eventually you'll get into a routine but write things you enjoy and don't don't push yourself to the point where it feels like you're doing work because once that happens your your writing's gonna reflect the fact that you're you're pushing yourself too much and you're not enjoying it also welcome to the pet showcase and chat writes a story so right now Animal source wants you to explain the meaning of the word barred owl barred owl barred owl is is such a wonderful amazing individual the guardian owl of the chat the wonderful barred owl who is also a writer um barred owl just watches over it kind of like the bar the, the owl what direction the owl over there <laughs> I always forget things are flipped. The owl over there, that's that's the that's that's the same as Bardell of chat. Bardell's always watching, 
always watching, always listening, always ready at a moment's notice to pounce upon unsus unsuspecting prey. Well, maybe not. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> Uh, I had I had a moment where I just decided I was gonna put pictures of everyone's pets on screen. So welcome welcome to the chaos stream. None of these are my pets. I don't have any pets. Look at my words and then ominous words. <laughs> uh, I self published Puppeteer, so I have self published both of my books. Um, yeah, I mean it's. With, with the way Amazon is now, it's almost a foolproof way of getting your stuff published because you can just self-publish all your stuff. Flannel source says hands up for 30 seconds. Uh, the only downside to that is you got to do all your own marketing. So you would have to have like a fairly decent social media presence to, to market and potentially be willing to put some money into like advertising and that kind of stuff. But yeah, definitely, definitely feel free to chat us up about writing. Uh, what we have going on right now isn't necessarily your traditional kind of writing because chat is writing a story um so chat's typing in like responses for the story to continue and let me just tell you this this is a fever dream they're on the titanic right now they've just met we can absolutely shout out megan megan's also a writer the wonderful starborn striker is also a self-published -pub author she does do regular writing streams what bard you do writing streams perfect you do writing Don't streams bard Oh, oh no, you're gonna clip that. <laughs> they did in fact clip it. Megan. Megan, wherever you are, respond reaction to your clip. They did in fact clip it. That is a fact. It's a thing that happened, Megan. It got clipped. Or well, maybe maybe three or three three and a you, four you don't need to know where reaction. you're going to have a good time. No, but it helped. Oh, that was dumb. Oh. <laughs> oh Bard. Bard. I'm trying to help. I'm trying to help. Oh sorry, I wasn't listening. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna pause. I gotta pause the reader so we can get some responses before there's like a bunch of unrelated ones gumming it up again. Do you know where the captain of the ship is? Quickly reinstates Boule Peak. Oh, Boule Peak is just taking control. Let's see, where is this so I can just get it out of chat? Do you know where the captain of this ship is? Oh wait, this is Bully Pikachu. Hey, uh, Bully Pikachu here. You know where the captain of this ship is? Do you know where the captain of this ship is? It would sound like I think he's in the front of the ship. That's that's totally what Leonardo DiCaprio sounds like, right? But why? Why would you want to go there? But why? Why would you want to go there? I got a nice picture of a lady here. Why would you want to go there? <laughs> oh that it's not for everyone puppeteer it's definitely not for everyone um we also have i don't know if you use discord puppeteer but if you do definitely feel free to join our discord um we have a whole section on there for like creative endeavors and stuff like that and you can even just talk to me about like publishing or like ideas that you have i'm always open to, to talk to folks that are interested in writing Uh, give me another response again. Quickly runs to the bridge. Oh no! Oh no! The Titanic is sinking. We've, we're too late. We're underwater. Why would you want to go there? Well, I also put wood twice. Why would would you want to go there? Why don't you most just want to hang out with me? I got this wonderful painting of a lady in a beret. Also with a baguette. 
and maybe a necklace. Two. You can't see the big gay though. It's hidden. So they can warn the captain and crew about the impending doom. Mirror Puppeteer, thank you so much for that follow, my friend. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Unfortunately, they just laughed at them all and told them to get out. That's not very nice. I'm also gonna put Brady's in. Cause we got we got we gotta start moving things along. Meanwhile <laughs> Pocket, the cat, and Bella are having sensations about life in the hell of a day Bella has had. There we go. Keep it moving, keep it moving. <laughs> also start building, wait, also start building a, oh, a platform, okay. I thought this was story related. Um, I gotta start again, give me more responses. More responses. <laughs> I think I pick multiples. Not allowed to boost for 10 it's seconds. too late. We're boosting. We're already on that boost train, but I won't boost from this point forward. Oh no, Bard! How many? Co what? What cards do you have? How many cards? What kind of cards? Pokemon. Save the kitties and doggos. Oh, that's right. I didn't even think of that fact when when things were going underwater. Seven change of word and four change of line. Oh no, Bard. Bard, I'm so sorry. <laughs> That's so many. Out of the fog came the time traveling ship, the SS Bard Owl. <gasps> oh, the time traveling ship. Give me, I, I give us, give us a few lines for where to continue with this. I have no idea what's happening. I have no idea what's happening. We were at the point where we've... <laughs> well, I feel like we've lost control of the story again. If we ever had control of the story. I don't know that we ever had control of the story. There's been solid, some solid attempts to, to have plot. <laughs> and then there have been other... <laughs> there have been other, uh... Uh... <laughs> Chapter 3! <laughs> I feel like that solution, that's the solution every time we lose control. It's just like a new chapter! We'll fix it in post! <laughs> we'll fix it in post! <laughs> I really appreciate that, Carly. I very much appreciate that. Thank you so much, Carly. <laughs> I think it's I think it's perfect that there's like some voices of reason in the chat alongside some voices of chaos because that makes it so perfect. <laughs> oh, you know exactly. Oh no, the epilogue. And then we have to come up with a title. There's actually still quite a bit to do, <laughs> even with the extra hour. Oh, that's right, I forgot about our arch nemesis, uh, Pika Boot Pika Leg Chew. Boot Pika Leg Chew. Alright, 30 seconds, I'm gonna pause. And I'm gonna draw probably three of them, three or four of them, and just add them. Whatever they are. <laughs> Whatever they are, they'll get added to the story. <laughs> <laughs> 10 seconds that was not 20 seconds I'm bad with seconds and I'm pausing and I'm drawing oh oh here we go 
Here we go. Bella's making some moves. I, I just want to see Bella in like a little a little captain's outfit now. I I do. I mean it doesn't do it unless I ask it to. <laughs> I'm not I'm not gonna bother Alexa for every every time that I I make a I make a countdown. Oh no, Tentacle escaped! Tennis cool escapade. Uh, well, this one, this one is now null and void. Because oh, wait, broken the cat. Oh, wait. So technically, Bella didn't meet the captain. Bella just stole the captain's outfit. We do. Boot Pika Leg Chew? Wait, where was that? Up here. Boot Pika Leg Chew. Alright, let's throw another one. Throw another one. Throw another one. Oh. <laughs> This is, you know, <laughs> why not? We're putting, they're all going in. Flannel source insists upon their story response. Oh, you got it. This, this is barred. So I'll get, I'll get yours next. They're all going in. Apple thinks it's time for you to stand up and stretch a little bit. Okay, let me let me finish. I might actually take a, a restroom break after I type these in and start another another prompt. Flannel seems to lead into yours. Show me flannels. I'm just gonna scroll in chat. Oh, here we go. Sure, maybe it's hyphenated. Well, word doesn't seem to know either. Like how we can't just call it SS Bardo. Yeah, it's the SS Bardo. <laughs> it's a very particular, a very particular ship. I am. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go to a BRB screen. I'm gonna run to the restroom. But before I do that, I'm gonna start up another another reader. It will read from the from the the BRB screen. So I will be right back in just a couple minutes, everyone. Just, you can start typing in your your next set of responses, and 
I'll I'll pick some when I get back. BRB. Alright, if, uh, if Pokemon's your thing this weekend, you're gonna be very happy because we're gonna be- Oh my god! The fuck was that? <laughs> was that a heart or were those giant kissy lips? I'm gonna be completely honest, so you guys know, this is not a confession I should make. But if there's ever like a solid week where I'm like, nah, nah, I'm not, I'm not, some, there's something wrong with my camera. I don't, I don't know, I don't know what's going on. There's something wrong with my camera. Um, I probably accidentally shaved. <laughs> Just know that's a possibility. We'll jump. We'll be. We'll. S I, I missed the last couple of weeks. And I've been, mm, I've been very sad about chilly, that. Huh? You're all <laughs> the realist and my daddy. All right, everybody. Have a great night. No. I can't. Zoe, I can't punch things while I'm carrying you. I'm going to need you to contribute. This is like when Lily and I play Resident Evil 6. And, uh, and she carries me. <clears throat> Nobody told her I said that. I was like, fuck, what's happening? Stop him! <laughs> Don't let him get us! <laughs> oh my gosh! So he's scumming. <laughs> oh, that is the funniest thing! All you see is he's running. I'm gonna roll. Oh no, this looks like a bot. Oh no, 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 Did you see that? No, 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 no. Lily, did you see that? Oh no. Oh no! Oh no, no! <laughs> oh no, even the small one. Oh, come on. I'm gonna throw a rock at him. It didn't give a shit. Hey, bud. No, 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 no. Okay, you're kind of weak. Okay, okay. Oh. Oh god. Oh god. Okay. I hope there's I hope there's buns. You gotta have those buns. Yeah, you just gotta have those buns. Mmm buns. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. I, I I say this a lot, but I'm I'm very sorry for what's about to happen. What's what's about to, to befall your eye holes? But um here you go. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, all my Reese's pieces. Somebody pick them up. Hey everybody, how's it going? How how is the how are the responses going? <gasps> Coffee quills, welcome on in, my friend. How are you doing? How's your evening treating? Yes, this is not a traditional writing stream. <laughs> <laughs>
Final source wants you to eat oh, a spicy, spicy bean. bean. It's so spicy. All right, we'll have a spicy bean. Coffee quills. How are you doing, my friend? I am gonna. I'm gonna take a guess that from your name, um, you're also a writer, and it's so good to have you here. Um, what we're doing right now is what I call chat writes a story. Uh, I've got this cool thing up in the top right corner, which records messages that are typed. Um, so if you type in a response to the story or like a next line in the story, oh no. Oh no, that's the real spicy one. Oh no. Oh no. Flannel, what have you done? What have you done? <laughs> what have you done to me, Flannel? That's the spiciest of the spicy beans. Yes, also there's pets. Everybody has sent me. We started out with pictures of Bella because Bella was incorporated into the story. And then just everyone else sent me pictures of their pets. And we've got a pet showcase going on on screen. No, Flanny's not evil. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna eat this spicy bean. And for anyone new, oh no, for anyone new, we got these wonderful bean boozled spicy beans. I spin the wheel, it lands on one of the bean. It just landed on the Carolina Reaper, which is the worst one. Oh, it's starting. To oh, <laughs> as soon as it hits you, oh, it's like a second. It's like a sleeper. Oh. And I don't have milk. Oh. Oh. Coke is not gonna help. There's gonna be a struggle getting a line. No, 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 no. Here we're gonna pause it. We're gonna pause it. We're gonna get we're gonna get some new lines. We're gonna pause it. So in the top corner there, now I'll draw. It'll randomly pick. Uh, see, not it wasn't hard at all. It wasn't hard at all. First one, we got a response. We got a we got a response on the first one. Yeah, no struggle at all. Um, so I picked Carly's response. The gang do that they could not defeat. Pika boot. Pika leg. Chew. In this time period, so they quickly use their chaos pencil, all the chaos pencils, which are the knockoff infinity stones for anyone that was not here for the last several hours of this, to return to the modern world. Unfortunately, they were followed. <gasps> Uh-oh. They were followed. I don't know if we'll be able to use any of the others to follow this up. Uh, yes, yeah, so this is... Yeah, I'm, I'm really sorry. We have, we have like, a lot of inside jokes and stuff. Um, this is Bootleg Bardell Pikachu. Bardell wants to see Bootleg Pikachu. Oh, oh, I must... I read your mind, Bardell. This is Bootleg Pikachu. Bootleg Pikachu is, like, a knockoff Pikachu hat that I got on Amazon. Uh, and Bootleg Pikachu is like a whole separate persona on the channel now. That, um... Hey, uh, Bootleg Pikachu, I talk a lot like this. Seals Apple wants to watch a video oh, with you. Oh, what up? Seals Apple, what video would you like to watch? Um, we'll, we'll definitely watch a video. Do you type it in? They're muted, so... Oh, 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 oh. They may not be able to hear me. Flannel Source wants you to talk like Bootleg Pikachu. Hey, uh, Bootleg Pikachu! Oh, there's the there's the video. All oh, the Carolina, all oh, the Carolina Reaper video. Okay, okay, we can do that. Um, let me see if there's any other. Let me see if there's any other responses. We can. What we can do is we can skim it. I do see it's the the Good Mythical Morning episode where they eat spicy things. Um, let me see if there's any any other responses we can use because what I'll do is while we are watching the video I'll get everyone started oh it's so spicy <coughs> it's so spicy and boy Pikachu requires me to uh, to draw from the back of my throat which is where the spiciness is <laughs> I don't think we're gonna get any more responses so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clear it give me some more responses and we'll watch at least part at least part of this video
Yes, I did. I did miss that. I'm so I'm so sorry about that, Quills. I'm so sorry about that, but I'm so happy that you're here hanging out with us. Oh, I must have watched part of this before. Because it started in the middle. Alright, but we can skim. We can skim through is what we can do. And I'm gonna pause the music. Uh, while we're doing that, while we're hey boy Pikachu here, while we're doing that, uh, we you can everyone can start typing in their next responses. Start around five minutes, okay? Around the five minute mark. Five minute mark. Four fifty-eight. It's about as close. Best. Start this time. Oh goodness! I missed. Wait, what did they? Did they eat a pepper? Is this still chewing? I just swallowed. Oh, no! Uh, no! It started. The, the hiccups have started. Oh, this is an old video. Oh. Take your glove. Take your glove off, stupid. <laughs> oh man, I've been I've been here before, but never like this. Oh no. Oh no, this looks there. What what kind of uh what kind of peppers are in are in the little nitro? <laughs> Oh, I'm a little concerned. What kind of peppers are in the little nitro? Use some water, keep it down. Little nitro. Oh gosh, guys. I hate the world. Oh, I think it's just like artificially spicy. Because Carly got one of the one of the cards today. That makes me nervous. Every breath out is like. Do you like hot food? Oh, I'm a wimp when it comes to hot stupid, food. Stupid Definitely a wimp. Oh gosh. Oh gosh, guys. We've been told it peaks. It's six minutes. So, I I missed, I missed in the beginning. Did they? How long? How long do they have to go without doing anything? Oh gosh, guys! Because we skipped over the beginning. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> We need ice cream. Oh no. <gasps> no we can do it Holy now. shit! Vinyl! Vinyl, welcome on in! Hang on, give me for a sec. Welcome on in, Vinyl! How's everyone doing? Welcome! Yeah, we'll go we'll go full screen for a second. Welcome on in everyone! Vinyl! You freaking legend! How are you? How is your stream? How are you doing? Welcome, Raiders. You've arrived at a very, a very special stream. Um, we were watching a uh, a Good Mythical Morning video about eating spicy things because I just ate, I just ate a spicy jelly bean, a spicy bean boozled jelly bean. Um, so we took we took a short break Final and watched the video. Wants me to repeat the last redeemed instant activity card. Watching a video? You want to watch a video, Flannel? I think that was the last one. <gasps> Will, how are you? How are you, Will? Kali, oh, the one and only Kali. Grim Carey, thank you so much for the fall, though. I really appreciate it. Shiraz, how are you? Oh, spicy bean, okay. I get to eat a spicy bean for everyone. And um, the way these work is I have this fancy little wheel. I'm not all the way caught up with chat. I got this fancy little wheel that you can't see. <laughs> there it is. There's the fancy wheel. I'm going to spin it. And it's going to tell me. Oh, oh they, they got to work on their wheels. There we go. It's going to tell me what kind of bean to eat. Uh, oh, jalapeno. The jalapeno one is not. It's really spicy. 
Maybe I'm just a baby when it comes to spicy stuff. So this is this is the jalapeno bean. Uh, I'm gonna eat that. Oh no. I just ate a Carolina Reaper one. Vinyl, how was your stream? Oh, it's starting to hit. How was your stream, Vinyl? <laughs> what were you playing? What were Kylie you doing? 51, oh, beans. regular it's bean. It's time okay. for a bean, booze oh. jelly bean. Krim Carey, how are you? Welcome on in. Kali, how are you this evening? <coughs> oh, it's spicy. I'm I'm thinking I'm just a baby. Oh, my gosh. Look Aki at that. Samara, how are you? Welcome on in. That looks amazing. So many amazing <laughs> individuals. Oh, my good lord. What the crap? <laughs> That's right. It is the what world's the most heck? famous Twitch streamer, Kali Flumps. I thought the you were one, upstairs. The only Kali Flumps. I just came in. Like, when I started chatting, I was on my computer. <laughs> the one and only world famous Kali Flumps. Uh, what we're actually doing today is we are, we're, we're having a special event, special event stream where chat is writing a story. And I feel like, um, I'm actually, I'm going to throw out... Because there's there's been so many messages, I'm gonna throw out those responses. Everyone that typed responses for for this part, um, copy and paste those in when I start it up again. But I feel like we need we need a, a recap for everyone that just arrived. You made two resin keychains, added a vinyl decal of your niece's names, and then clear coded them. Hell yeah! Uh, oh Bart, I haven't started it yet. I'm sorry. I'm gonna do a recap first. Um, since most of the folks that have just popped in have not been here while we're, we've been writing our story. So essentially what we're doing is, um, we do regular, every couple months we do, um, event streams where we, I let chat write a story. And I have this nifty little thing up here in the top right corner, which when it's activated, it draws from the messages in chat and it picks a random one. So folks can type in what they want the next line or paragraph in the story to be and we'll randomly pick and it goes into the story oh Kali, have a fantastic evening my friend thank you so much i hope you have a great night i hope you have the best the best possible night and what that turns into is absolute chaos which we love chaos around here um what i'm gonna do is I'm going to pause the music. Sorry, Hotline. I will turn it back on after we, we have our, our recap. Because I have a lovely automated assistant that's going to read it for us. We've got more. Chad writes a story number three. Mm -hmm. Setting. So we'll Carly's do, we'll do Underwater recap. Palace. You are In the one year more 1912. Spicy bean and a bean Characters. I owe, I owe another Grammy spicy bean? I know I, knew, I owed a regular bean. Title. Chapter 1. Where'd the other spicy Carly bean come from? Carly was feeling bored, so she decided to call up Grandma Chili and bootleg PK Chu. I knew I was a regular All of bean. a sudden, Carly woke these, up from her weird fantasies. Just the gross ones. Remembering that she went on vacation and called on Grandma Chili and bootleg PK Chu to take oh, care the of the replay house card. while she Fuck. was gone. Uh, I'll do the regular Grandma one. Grandma Chili started to bake a pie for yep, when Carly only returned two left. home. But inside yep. this pie, pick. bootleg oh, PK Chu hid to jump scare anyone okay. that tried to eat it. Carly could see everything through the nanny cams she had set up throughout the underwater palace. Carly was set in a tad bit angry because she well, was good. looking forward good to the delicious looking mm. pie. There's only one Alas, left in this box. She cannot be upset with her lord and savior. Bootleg PK Chuck. And the wonderful Grandma Chili. Mm. Bella. Good. Carly's cat. Had just come in this from her scuba be. diving lesson. If Carly was a pilot... Bella Honk was going to be contrary and become a scuba diver. Bella had become an accomplished wreck diver and just finished a dive on the S. Oh, habanero. S. Bardowl. S. S. Bardowl was a unique place. It held one of the rip-off Infinity Sto, I mean. The Chaos Pencils which control the world. S. S. Bardowl was the biggest <laughs> ship with the largest poop deck. She was a beautiful sight to even the greenest people. The other five chaos pencils are mostly unknown. But one was last seen with a wooden chair. But that's probably irrelevant. Oh no, the six so chaos pencils. Spread to the farthest oh. reaches of the universe. Held untold power. Hot when combined, they would give the holder the power to bend the very fabric of time and space to their will. <coughs> the chaos <coughs> pencils. 
It's the most crazy. powerful writing utensils in all the world. Could be used to rewrite any moment in history. Unfortunately, what Bella had found was the bootleg chaos pencil, which let her have the power to bend people to shopping at Target. The group went to Target. And a strange employee Target named Watermelon Gui said welcome to Target in a depressing voice. And then a robber came in and shot at the melon lad. But Watermelon Gui shot Never back and ghosts. got the hit and killed the robber. With the chaos pencil, Bella turned Watermelon Gui into the unthinkable pineapple Gui. The Target employees start to scramble. But bootleg Pikachu enters into a western cowboy style standoff at high noon Spicy. with pineapple Gui. Spicy. Pineapple Gui tries to stop Bella. But it's too late. Bootleg Pikachu already won. But then. There they were. Standing bright for all to see. A halo-like effect seemed to make them larger than life. The store manager of all store managers. Rat Lord Alley. As shots rang out. Bella dove behind a display of decorative hand towels. She thudded into something solid but soft and heard a low grunt. Looking up. She realized the body that stopped her momentum was none other than Archduke Flans Ferdinand, mm. who had come to buy various home goods. Bella was taken aback by the man's fancy garb and wise eyes, feeling deep inside that this was the person she was looking for. This man would lead her to the third chaos pencil, and one step closer to realizing her dream. Bella then flew out of the target on her magical flying crockpot. Right behind her was Archduke Flans Ferdinand on his flying bathroom suite. Somehow, Pineapplegy raised from the dead in reversed time. Pineapplegy then decided to quit his job and be a free lad. But he fell off a cliff and died. And the gang watched. But Pineapplegy said, I'm okay. Thanks for asking. <laughs> Meanwhile, You're welcome. in a white void at an empty desk with a chair in the middle of it, a notebook lays open and a chaos pencil lays beside it. We're not, we're not Just up. then, a mysterious force picks up the pencil and starts writing. There are villainous laughs as the scene fades back to target. The chaos pencils that were once controlling the situation were now flying all over the place and sliced some of the employees. Disintegrating them on touch. I'm sorry you all had to see that. Can I offer you a trusty frying pan as compensation? <laughs> Rit Lord Ali howled as they smacked one of the chaos pencils away from a terrified employee. It flew up and stuck in the ceiling. It can also be used as a drying pan. They added with a wry smile. Then the drying pan started to fade away. Which was a big issue. Suddenly the chaos pencils fade away and are nowhere to be seen, wait. Weren't those missing for like millennia? Eh. Whatever. I don't get paid enough for this anyway, so. The chaos pencils are now gone again. Even the only one that we knew about. Nobody really seems to care about this though. <laughs> Chapter 2, Bella Crockpot Boogaloo. Carly returns home from her music conference and discovers the chaos that has ensued. After hearing the gang's wild story, she reaches into her bag and pulls out the chaos pencils. Oh. Y'all looking for these? Grandma Chili was too busy making another jump scare pie. The gang, aside from Grandma Chili, is thrilled. Before Carly hands over the pencils, she says, Before I give them to you, you have to promise to use these to save the Titanic and Flans Ferdinand. <laughs> Deal? <laughs> Bella nods and nuzzles Carly's hand affectionately. Carly gives her pets because she's such a sweet baby. Laying the pencils on the table in front of her, she says, I trust you. Bella immediately swats them off the table. She's been a cat too long. She couldn't resist. Hey. It's true. Uh. I'm bootleg Pikachu. That's a deal. You can absolutely trust me. Grandma Chili says they'll watch over everyone on the journey. Rit Lordily takes one of the pencils and draws a portal to 1912. Carly cautions them. I have reason to believe that our arch enemy but PK Legku is in 1912. The gang steps through the portal and onto the deck of the Titanic. <laughs> it is nighttime and the air chilly. Back in modern time, Carly goes to take a nap. The gang is on the Titanic and all of a sudden Bella notices a unique face. Bella slowly walks towards Pocket the cat, giving a friendly meow. 
The freezing air whips around them and a young man with stunning blue eyes runs up to them. Holds up a painting of a lovely girl in nothing but a beret. And shouts. Have you seen this girl? They all stare for a moment. Confused. Bootleg Pikachu shakes his head. Pikachu. No. But she sure is smoking hot. If you find her, let me know. They all slowly back away as he says. Wait. No. It's a serious question. Grammy Chili is offended by the young man's sudden and startling approach. And she hits him with her purse. Obviously impatient. He pushes past them in a huff. They stand a moment and then shake off the shocking turning their eyes to the watchtower. Do you know where the captain of this ship is? Quickly reinstates bootleg Pikachu. Leo replies. I think he's in the front of the ship. But why would you want to go there? The gang quickly runs to the bridge so they can warn the captain and crew about the impending doom. Unfortunately. They just laughed at them all and told them to get out. Meanwhile. Pocket the cat and Bella are having conversations about life and the hell of a day Bella has had. Bella decides to sneak into the captain's quarters and steal his outfit so she can impersonate him and order the crew to turn the ship around. The rest of the gang bursts into the ship's cabin. The real captain is there. He turns around to reveal none other than but P.K. Legku. <laughs> Out of the fog came the time-traveling ship. Oh no. The S. S. Bardowl to ensure the safety of the mission with her mighty. Oh, mighty poop deck. The S. S. Bardowl floats alongside the Titanic and the gang quickly tethers them together. Bard pulls the Titanic off of its course. Causing it to narrowly miss the huge iceberg. The gang knew that they could not defeat but P.K. Legku in this time period. So they quickly used their chaos pencils to return to the modern world. The mighty, mighty poop deck. Unfortunately, they were followed. There we go. Then we're up to current. <laughs> we're back up to current with the story. Oh, I know. It's a beautiful work of art. I have no idea how we're going to end this in the next hour. <laughs> but you know what, chat? You tell me. You tell me. How are we going to end this? Uh, there we go. Type your responses. Chapter three. Wait, do we want? Hey, no, stop. Do we want to move to chapter three? I I paused it again. We're gonna move to chapter three. Okay. What? Here we go. What is chapter three called? Type in our our titles for chapter three. Potential chapter three titles. Also, music. Come back. I am, I'm very sorry everyone, but I, I've got too many sources open. <laughs> My internet's starting to, to lag, so the, the pets are going away. Pet showcase is going away. Too much is happening, I think. I'm trying to, I'm trying to upload too much. I'm very sorry. <laughs> I'm hoping that's what it is. Bye, pets. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Yeah, that's definitely what it was. It immediately improved. No. Oh, no. <laughs> As it happens, 22 sources is too many. <laughs> Oh no, that's very fitting. <laughs> Alright, so chapter three. Chapter three. Uh The chaotic finale? Is that is that is that what we're going with? The chaotic finale? Alright, no, we don't need this. Clear that. Chaotic finale. The chaotic finale. There we go. Okay, the chaotic finale. How do we start? How do we start the chaotic fin finale? Give us, give us your your starting. How do we start the final, the final, the final chapter? <laughs> <laughs> it has finale in it. 
Oh, poop deck showdown. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. The poop deck showdown. <laughs> oh, it is. Oh, it is going. I'm sorry. I hit it. I hit it when we were when we were doing the recap. It is going. So whenever you're ready with your story post, how would you like to start chapter three? Ultra Boot Pika Leg Chew. <laughs> oh. Well, Brady. That's quite the opening. Quite the cold open on this, uh... So okay, if, if, if there's something you want to change, if yours gets picked, you can just let me know and I can change it. Let me know as I'm typing it. I don't want, I have a sinking suspicion that everyone's typing something really long. <laughs> oh, I'll give you, I'll give you three, because we are almost in the last hour. We're almost in the last hour. You got nothing. Oh, them Brady's might be the opening, the opening line, the opening paragraph to the final chapter. Really good thing that Carly played the the card for an extra hour. Hey, it's Bard, Bard, this entire story doesn't make sense. Bard, this story doesn't make sense. We were just randomly at Target, then we left Target. It's like, oh, why did we go to Target? Oh, I guess I guess the whole the whole plot arc of going to Target was to meet. Uh, Flans Ferdinand. You got an update on Hell yeah, Brady. <laughs> They're trying to end the story and start a whole new chapter. Oops. <laughs> Oopsie poopsie. <laughs> Alright, here we go. We got pause. I got pause. We got a couple. They're right back, finding themselves in Granny Chili's sitting room. Lands is saved. Lots of exclamation points. We're really excited. <laughs> yeah, it was a surprise. Plans, I guess Flans didn't go with them? I have no idea. There were numerous characters barely mentioned. <laughs> Congratulations, you live. I mean the story's the story's not over yet, Bard. The story the story's not over yet. Um I mean we can just we can just the end. <laughs> We can, we can still put in. Here we go. Everybody's is going in. Listen, it's boot, pika, leg, chew.
Corrections, Brady. Yeah, corrections. Oh, here we go. Here's the corrections. Here at the game, the this is revealed is built up. In the last chapter, it transformed. Okay. Oh no, not the water palace. But luckily, they're not at the water palace. Little does. Ultra Boot Pika Leg Chew No. They're in Granny Chili's sitting room. Boy 2018 wants to change a line in the story. What line would you like to change? <laughs> Says Bart out emo, yes. <laughs> <laughs> underscore orange underscore wants you or your intelligent assistant to tell a joke. Alexa. 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 Tell us a joke. Alexa. Alexa. Tell us a joke. Why did the coffee date end so abruptly? The milk got steamed. The milk got steamed. <laughs> oh, after they celebrate. Wait. <laughs> uh, okay, so after... Python crossed the road. They just swallowed a chicken. Oh, God. That's the Python. Angry Python or angry Ultra Boot Pika Leg Chew. One or the other. <laughs> oh. The, the gang geared up to battle Ultra Boot Pika Leg Chew at the final standoff. Orange. Or Ron J. You got an ending to bring it all full circle. Okay, what what what's gonna bring it all? I feel like nothing. I feel like nothing can bring this all full circle. <laughs> um, was the last one chicken based? I'm trying to think. Bayburn, <gasps> Bayburn, how are you? Welcome. Ooh. Ooh. Oh yeah, wait, Carly was in in the palace. Oh that's amazing. I also want to bring Carly in though. Carly needs to also arrive. Please 
what's wrong? Thank you, chat. I'm trying, I'm trying to type. I thought I scrolled up, but it kept scrolling. Oh, the, well, the, the, the ending of yours doesn't, doesn't work with, with bards, but I do, I do want, <laughs> I do want, I do want the pie. Okay. So she used the pencils to give cream of chili the power to create the ultimate jump scare pie how how does how does like i'm not even gonna here we're gonna, I'm gonna turn this off just <laughs> We're in, we're in crunch time Everyone now. Everyone wants to see bootleg Pikachu. <laughs> Dude, are we just, oh, bootleg Pikachu, hell yeah. Are, are we just gonna, are we just gonna put in the jump scare? <laughs> the jump scare is the big old poop deck. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, Bayburn, I'm really glad to hear that you've got some, some new goals. I'm sorry to hear that you have to move back home. I'm really sorry to hear that. I'm glad you've got some new goals and some new motivation, though. Hell yeah, that's always a good thing. Type underscore orange underscore would like to ask Bootleg Pikachu the following question. What's so ultra about Boot Pika like you? Let me tell you, there's, there's nothing. There's nothing ultra about that faker. That fake bootleg Pikachu. There's nothing. They're just a pair of legs. And they're really hairy legs, too. They're not even a Pikachu. They're just a pair of legs. Giant pair of legs with eyes on the feet. Eyes where the feet should be. They're fakers. They're not nearly as cool as bootleg Pikachu. Um... Little Putek of the SS Bardo, okay. Maybe it does. Maybe there's there's secret lore behind Carly's fanny pack that we don't know about. Underscore orange underscore oh, says hydrate, you, you look it. thirsty. Time Thank to so hydrate. Much, How are you doing, Orange? Where's my mouse pointer? Where is it? There it is. It's real less stressful because I'm gonna swap to a part-time job. It'll give me time to focus on your own stream stuff. <gasps> Baby, and I'm so excited. Maybe I'll be able to come back. I hope so. I'm so freaking excited. 
You don't really have a good time at home. Oh, no. I'm sorry. I hope everything works out that you can come back to streaming. That'll be a major plus. You're chilling. That's what I like to hear, Orange. That's what I like to hear. Oh, we've got... We, we still have. We still have some. We're not... We're technically not done. Brady Boy 2018 asks, What's the worst time to reveal that this was all a dream? <laughs> uh, generally in the epilogue, which is when we always reveal that it's all been a dream. That's that's what's happened in every single chat writes a story is we've revealed that it was all a dream in the epilogue. You've been working the whole time. Oh, Orange, I appreciate you so much. What? What did I do? Wait. What did I do? What did I do? Did I miss some stuff? You fixed yours to, to add the pie. Oh. Okay, wait. I can change it. I'm sorry, I missed that. What if it's not a dream? Oh, that'd be the real twist. Because I feel like everyone over on the J Chatty Wattpad is expecting it to be a dream. Uh. Yeah, the J Chatty Wattpad. Oh yeah, we got a Wattpad where these stories go. <laughs> what if it's all a simulation? You tell me. You should rock sunglasses you tell for the me, next five chat, minutes. What is the epilogue? How do we how do we start the epilogue? Brady had an idea. Where, Brady, where did you go? <laughs> Brady had an idea for the epilogue. Did I have a stroke? No. Yeah, we're we're in the epilogue. Well, we're I'm just taking recommendations now. We're we're at the at the stage where I'm just taking recommendations. <laughs> we're in we're in the final hour. Oh, they're taking off their hood. Type underscore orange underscore wants to say hello to everyone in the stream. <laughs> Hi, Orange. Hi, Orange. I'm going to wave until he stops waving. How long is this gif? Oh, there he goes. <laughs> I said it the same way. I said, oh, wild dad. <laughs> XJ Chili thrilled that he had discovered a way to stop. Oh, my best friend Flans. Oh. Oh. Oh, no. Those are both. Okay, we're going to do a poll. The first one ties back into the epilogue from the last one. We're doing a poll. So Brady or Carly's take on the epilogue. Three minute poll. Oh, 
What? Why does it not meet the guidelines? All I said is witch, and then I said Brady and Carly. Apparently one of your names does not meet. I don't know one of the name one of your names does not meet. So number one. Oh no, I put number one for both. Uh first number one is Brady. <laughs> Second number one is Carly. <laughs> I put number one and number one. Oh it's a professional streamer, everybody. <laughs> oh final, I'm so sorry. I'm glad that I'm glad they're having fun though. I'm really glad that everybody's having fun. That's what it's all about. I said number one, number one. I can't believe I said number one, number one. They're both number one. That's true. I do like both of them a lot. Number one, number one. Oh, I love that right now. The results are six and nine. 69. Nice. Nice. Well, it's 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 not a runaway. It's still close. Again, first number one is Brady. Second number one is Carly. Bart, if you if you have another one, you could always you can drop it, and then we can have a runoff with yours and the winner, and see who wins that poll too. I don't understand why it said that Brady and Carly didn't meet. When I had the options as Brady and Carly, it said it didn't meet guidelines. Which is usually what it does when there's like an offensive term or something in the poll. You deleted it all. Oh no, Bard. Bard, do you have work tomorrow? Do you have an early morning tomorrow? Carly's not safe for work. <laughs> That's probably what it is. No, no, this this is just the opening to it. It's just the opening to it, and then we could write a few more a few more paragraphs, and then. Oh, you can't go back to work. Oh no, Bart! I didn't know that. I'm so sorry. I didn't hear about that. Working from home, sort of in the meantime. Oh, Bard. Bart, I'm so sorry. Well, I mean, at least that, that might mean, are you able to sleep in, in that case? Does that mean you get to sleep in? You have to go to bed anyway. No worries, Brady. Have a fantastic night. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. I really appreciate it. This was a blast. This was an absolute blast. Uh, keep an eye out. I'll have the link for the, the full story on the Wattpad in the Discord later tonight. Final source thinks you should oh. rock sunglasses for Is the next five alarm? minutes. No worries. We're only going to go until um, probably for another 50 minutes or so. Uh, that's the second, so is Carly's. Okay. I kind of I kind of like that, uh, that it's a different style ending. Underscore orange underscore wants emotes only chat for the next five minutes. Oh, it's only. You got it. Let's see everybody. Oh, hang on, let me turn on. Let's see everybody's favorite emotes. Show me your favorite emotes. And why are they bootleg Pikachu? So now here, here is your opportunity, Brady. If you want to bring in the hooded figure for something else um, in this, this new future setting, 
we can definitely have the hooded figure appear again because the hooded figure was like a staple of the last two prologues. Oh no. And also if you're VIP you can you can break emotes only and you can still tell me things if you want more things in the epilogue. Also mods can break. Oh Bella, there's the Bella emote. There's the star of our story. You're out of ideas. <laughs> I I feel like we're we're coming up to the end here. <laughs> Oh, look at that meat! Look at that meat! Wait! Bard, since when do you have an emote of meat? I didn't know you- I don't remember seeing that one. Just a big old slab of meat. You never go wrong with a big old slab of meat. <laughs> well, we do have to- we do have to upload it to- to the Wattpad. I'll probably send your card back anyway, but we do have to upload it still. Oh, wait. Here we go. Flannel's got something. Oh no! <laughs> there we go. I feel like that's... I feel like that's the perfect ending. <laughs> I feel like that's the perfect ending. Um, Alright, Wattpad. We need Wattpad. We need Wattpad. There's Wattpad. Alright. So we get to... Let me get logged in. Actually, I think we're already logged in from reading so much fanfic lately. We are. We've got, why do we have notifications? <gasps> We've got notifications. The Bard Owl is following us. Three people voted on, on Bard's Fever Dream featuring, oh wait, we need a title. Hang on, we need a title. We need a title, everyone. Here I am gonna, I am gonna use the, I am gonna use the, the recorder here. So give me, give me some titles. What would we like to title our story? That's the last thing we need. The last thing we need is a title. Bardowl wants to hear you read some fanfic. Oh, some fanfic. I still I still have to find some Valeria fanfic for um for Seals Apple. The Aristocrats <laughs> Avengers Bootleg War. What uh what kind of fanfic would you like, Bard? Yeah, I'm having I'm having a heck of a time finding some Seals Apple. For some reason there's not much uh there's not much fanfic of Boyfriend Dungeon. It kind of stinks. We vote to combine Carl and Flanny's Avengers Bootleg War. The Aristocrats Bootleg War? The Path to Streetless Partners? <laughs> Bell Avengers Bootleg War. Oh. Alright, 30 seconds if you have any more name suggestions. Is there is there something different different you would like fanfic of Apple? <laughs> Alright, I guess I gotta pause it. I'm gonna draw I'm gonna draw our title. Bootleg Bella Endgame. Oh, 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 I like that. Wait, <laughs> bootleg Bella Endgame. No. <laughs> Why not? Is this not, we could do it as a voting one. Do we, we want to do a poll? All right, we do a poll. Title Bootleg Bella Endgame Flannel Source thinks you should rock sunglasses for the next <laughs> Stealing five minutes. Stealing ideas from my book? 
<laughs> for my books. Can't fit the whole thing, but our Bell Bell Avengers bootleg war. All right, there we go. Three minute poll. <laughs> it's it's in there now, Carly. It's in there. See, here, here's the secret, though, Bard. A good majority of fanfics are not what they're cut out to be. There's a, there's a very high percentage of fanfics that promise quality content, and they just drop you by the wayside. <laughs> True title. Painting of a French boot like Pikachu. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, oh, it's real close. It's real close. It's neck and neck. Oh. The bar is apparently very low. Oh, Bell Avengers, Boule Wars, point on the head. Bell Avengers Blue Leg War gonna take it? It looks like it might. Bell Avengers Blue Leg War, unless anyone else is, wants to throw in for Bootleg Bella Endgame. Yeah, that that's a good question. Where is where is the the Jorge? The Jorge fanfic. Jorge is a pairing that we need. Have you started writing it? We need we need a preview. Bard, we need a preview. Oh! Wait, what's happening? What's happening? What's happening? Somebody's throwing points in suddenly. <laughs> oh, this is amazing. What is happening? Oh, someone's spending a lot of points <laughs> for Bell Ventures bootleg war. Fuck it. You know what? I'm going back to the hospital. Ah! My sack. My sweet, sweet sack. I'm watching. I'm waiting for there to be like another surplus of points. Oh, Allie, the, the the Five Nights at Freddy's one we read the other day was horrible. <laughs> it kept teasing. How many times did they use somebody knocking on the door to interrupt the... Bard used 3,400 channel points. Sweet potatoes. Okay, Bell, Bell Avengers Bootleg War. Oh, okay, hang on, I'll put this up on the screen. This is this is our, our Wattpad. I can show it. Oh, the fucking knocking. The fucking knocking. This is this is chat's Wattpad. I can show this on screen. Bell Avengers. Uh Bootleg War. Head out for a meeting. No worries, Coffee Quills. Thank you so much for hanging out. Thank you so much for that follow earlier. I really appreciate it. I hope you have a fantastic evening. It was such an absolute thrill having you here, my friend. It's always nice meeting new people in general, but also individuals with an interest in writing. Oh, Allie, you would have hated this one then. Not only was it in first person, it would have randomly shift perspectives, and they would just put in parentheses who perspe whose perspective it was shifting to. <laughs> uh, story details, description... 
a rousing tale of time bending hey, proportions. <laughs> I'm listening. Did I miss something? Wait, did I miss something? I promise I'm listening. Oh wait, is it the is it the lyrics? Do you want me to I'll skip. I don't know if that's what it was. But I feel like that might be what it was. Oh, you better believe. A rousing tale of time bending proportions. In which a rag of heroes. They're definitely heroes. <laughs> the take of saving the Titanic and Flans <laughs> Ferdinand. Is that nice fellow right? Flans Ferdinand. Undertake that one more? Oh, Undertakes. Oh, it just had lyrics. It wasn't it wasn't copyright or anything, it just had lyrics. All the all the songs on my playlist are copyright free. They're all DMCA free and stream safe. Ooh, they are very loud though. I'm gonna turn it down just a tiny bit while I write this. Um Oh, they. Uh, what else did you say not to mention? Ask me about my wiener! Oh, flannel, flannel, tell us everything. Tell us everything about your wiener. We want all the details. We want all the details. Do I look like I know what a JPEG <laughs> I is? Love this. I just want a picture of a god dang hot dog. <laughs> Characters. We got we got Bella. Bella's a character. Wait, no. And uh bootleg Pikachu. Arch Duke Franz Ferdinand. I just want me to capitalize. Wants me to capitalize things. Actually, I probably should be capitalized things. <laughs> well, maybe I, can I not capitalize things? Yeah, you can. No, well, not with me. Oh well, once we make them, we can't change them. So. uh 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 
uh, ultra pika wait what ultra boot boot pika leg chew uh <laughs> chili oh that's right regular regular boot pika leg chew Oh, Leonardo DiCaprio. Oh, and... is in the story gotta be specific that way we can get you the recognition you deserve trust me you're gonna get you're gonna get so many new twitch followers from this they're all gonna they're all gonna flock over uh... <laughs> oh we also had watermelon guy and pineapple guy I think, listen, they'll find them. They're going to enjoy this story so much more that they're going to seek out. They're going to seek us out. Oh, I've got, I've got pineapple guy. <laughs> Check. Okay, PK Chuck. <laughs> oh, wait, you can't forget. I was in the epilogue. I could be in here. I was in the epilogue. Type underscore orange underscore wants to design a sound card. Ooh. Ooh, orange, definitely send me over whatever you have. I still have to see if um if Hotline's ever had issues with the, the All-Star song. Because you sent me the other one and I'm a little concerned about copyright on that one. Well we do have tags, so these are specifically characters. We do have tags, so we can do we can do frying pan, drying pan in the tags. Category. Uh, historical fiction. Uh, drying. Oh, wait, we gotta do it as one word. Drying pan. Poop deck. Uh, epic. Showdown. True story. <laughs> it's historical fiction. <laughs> if you shorten, I think if you shorten it under ten seconds or ten seconds at the most, because I think I listened to it through a couple times, and there's about twenty seconds of the actual song in there. Orange. Um, if it were like just ten seconds of the actual song, I think it. It would be okay. <laughs> Arch Duke Franz Ferdinand. Um, time travel. Uh, jump scare pie. Magic pencils. <laughs> Titan. Oh, we can't forget Titanic. Titanic. Crockpot? There's a crockpot. <laughs> Chaos pencils. Uh, 
Yeah, true story. I ha I do have true story. <laughs> Bathroom suite. Cat things. Owls. <laughs> Tar oh, Target. 1912. I think that was the year. I hope that was the year. <laughs> Sexy painting. Hidden. Was oh, that how? I think that's that's how you spell big it, right? Oh, wait, I don't think it is. B A G. U E T T E. We were type as it popped up for me, flannel. I was typing it also. <laughs> We were on the same wavelength. Fraunch girl. Food. Oh, food. Everyone likes food. Hidden baguette. I feel like hidden baguette would be better suited on a, a, a less family friendly. I was going to say, that, that sounds like it should be on a less family friendly site than Twitch. No. No Oscar Mayer. We don't talk about Oscar Mayer scuba diving. Oscar Mayer is dead to me. We gotta bring in all those all those fans of nautical fiction. Time travel, we got we got time travel. Nanny cams. Oh, have we hit our limit? Oh, we have hit our limit. That's it. We've hit the limit. Who is the primary audience? Adults. Oh, well, maybe new adults. Maybe new adults will enjoy it. But we're going to put that mature rating on. Actually, I think this was the least... This was the least mature of any of the story. Like, nothing really... Nothing really adult happened in this one. <laughs> All right, so we got we got Bell Avenger, Bell Avengers Bootleg Wars. Oh, here we go. Here's our story. Oh, uh oh, Bell Avengers. Bootleg Wars by the J. Chatty. Let's copyright this. <laughs> oh, I'm. Don't worry, I'm on it. I'll get it. I'll get it copyrighted for us. There we go. Boop. Uh, oh, we don't need. Oh, I didn't put the title in here. Oh no. Okay, Bill. Avengers Bootleg Wars There we go. Let's just do a quick quick grammar check. It doesn't <laughs> listen listen I meant drying pan I meant what I say <laughs> I meant what I say Um, if you tell me what sound you want, if it's something I can find, I'll definitely take care of it. What, uh, what do you want to sound of, Allie? If it's something I can, I can track down, then it's possible that I can just track it down. <gasps> Roy! Oh, Roy. Roy, thank you so much for the raid! Welcome on in, Raiders! How are you, Roy? You have arrived at the end of our Chat Rates a Story stream. 
our dear our dear friends in chat have written a beautiful story and we are in the process right now of <laughs> uploading it to the J Chatty Wattpad where we upload all of our chat rights of story stories. <laughs> Medrathis, welcome on in, my friend. I hope I pronounced your name correctly. Oh. Has it become a thing, Flannel, when we get raids He's that you automatically dead. redeem spicy oh, beans? No. We got <laughs> if anyone knew that popped in, I got these. They're not wonderful. I was going to say wonderful. They're not wonderful. They're spicy beans. Um, and I spin the wheel and I eat a spicy bean. I feel like every time we get a we get a raid, <laughs> flannel redeems a bean. So we spin this wheel and it lands on a thing, and that is a habanero bean, which is not the worst one. So it's not too bad. The problem is the habanero and the sriracha look the same. <gasps> you get your beans tomorrow. <laughs> flannel just wants to condition me, so every time we get a raid, I automatically eat a bean. <laughs> I just it just happens automatically and I don't even realize it. All right, so we got the Bell Avengers bootleg wars. Why did JJ? <coughs> oh, it's so spicy. It's so spicy. Why is it spicy? All right, here we go. We're publishing. We're publishing. There it is. We're publishing. We don't have a cover. Do a mark reading before we wrap up? Hell yeah. One final mark reading before we wrap up. What's wrong? Oh, I acknowledge it's my own work. Yeah, well, I mean, it's chat's work. There it is. <laughs> All these freaking tags. <laughs> you make quick edit. Uh oh, I'm sorry. We uploaded already. I'm sorry, Carly. What, uh, what did you want to edit? I think maybe we can go in and change stuff. Uh, edit. Yes. What would you like to change? We've got it. We've got to do it quickly before the adoring fans see. Oh, it's a flanny pack. Absolutely. Oh, wait, I started typing flanny. Flanny. There we go. Publish changes. <laughs> oh, that's spicy. <laughs> Here it is. Here it is. Our third. Our third story. On the J Chili's chat, which is also known as the J Chatty. Which our 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 second story is number forty one in the fever dream category on on Wattpad. That's really exciting. <laughs> That's really exciting. I can't wait to see where our new story will end up. Uh because our first story is number fifty nine in the wait in the glizzy category. I'm afraid I'm afraid to open this on the stream. <laughs> Hang on, let me uh because I'm pretty sure oh it just opens the list. Okay. Uh, we're, we're number 59 in the glizzy category out of 139 stories. That's pretty good. Yeah, Monster Erotica. <laughs> that was the first one. Oh, we're number 43 in PB&J. But this one we have a medal. Yeah, let me, let's see what our company, I want to, I want to make sure there's nothing. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna show this page. <laughs> I'm not going to show that page. Uh, let's see. The second story, Bard's Fever Dream, featuring Jay Chili's Fever Dream. We're number seven, and everyone is here. <gasps> and we're number 41 in Fever Dream. Oh, dad joke. Boy, you got it. Boy, Reaper wants a dad joke. You got it. Let's see. Oh, here, lying about my age is easier now that I often forget what it is. <laughs> Hang on, let me find another one. Oh, recently I was told that I'm colorblind. It came right out of the orange. 
<laughs> yeah, we're number 28 in Hot Pockets. But, I mean, it's only out of 32. We actually looked at the Hot Pockets one once a couple days ago. They were there were some not. <laughs> oh, your mouth hurt. No, Carly, please get some sleep. It came right out of the orange. Please go to sleep, Carly. Please get some rest. Thank you so much for hanging out. You need rest, though. You need to get some rest. Oh, we're going to listen to the story. That'll be the last thing we do. Uh, Bart, I'm going to send that back to you. We'll do we'll do fanfic another evening. We're, uh, we're coming up on the extra hour mark. We'll do some fanfic another e evening. Because I do still owe uh, Apple some fanfic, too. So let me get... I'm gonna I'm gonna jump over to uh, just chatting for the the final read through. Here we go. Pause the music. We've got the final read through of the masterpiece. Chat writes a story number three. Setting. Wait, hang on. I do want to change something because I changed it on. I did not change fanny pack to flanny pack in the actual document. There we go. Setting. Carly's Underwater Palace. In the year 1912. Characters. Grammy Chili and Bootleg Pikachu. Title. Chapter 1. Carly was feeling bored so she decided to call up Grandma Chili and Bootleg Pikachu. All of a sudden. Carly woke up from her weird fantasies. Remembering that she went on vacation and called on Grandma Chili and Bootleg Pikachu to take care of the house while she was gone. Grandma Chili started to bake a pie for when Carly returned home. But inside this pie, Bootleg Pikachu hid to jump scare anyone that tried to eat it. Carly could see everything through the nanny cams she had set up throughout the underwater palace. Carly was set in a tad bit angry because she was looking forward to the delicious looking pie. Alas. She cannot be upset with her lord and savior. Bootleg Pikachu. And the wonderful Grandma Chili. Bella. Carly's cat. Had just come in from her scuba diving lesson. If Carly was a pilot. Bella was going to be contrary and become a scuba diver. Bella had become an accomplished wreck diver and just finished a dive on the S. S. Bardowl. S. S. Bardowl was a unique place, it held one of the rip-off Infinity Sto I mean. <laughs> the Chaos Pencils which control the world. S. S. Bardowl was the biggest ship with the largest poop deck. She was a beautiful sight to even the greenest people. The other five Chaos Pencils oh, are mostly unknown. But one was last seen with a wooden chair. But that's probably irrelevant. The six Chaos Pencils spread to the farthest reaches of the universe held untold power when combined they would give the holder the power to bend the very fabric of time and space to their will the chaos pencils the most powerful writing utensils in all the world could be used to rewrite any moment in history unfortunately what bella had found was the bootleg chaos pencil which let her have the power to bend people to shopping and target Glitter, thank the you so much for the to follow. Target. Welcome on in. And a strange employee We're named listening Watermelon to the lovely story that Chad has written in over a the last couple voice. hours. And then a robber came in and shot at the melon lad. But Watermelon Gui shot back and got the hit and killed the robber. With the chaos pencil, Bella turned Watermelon Gui into the unthinkable pineapple Gui. <laughs> the target employees start to scramble. But bootleg Pikachu enters into a western cowboy style standoff at high noon with pineapple Gui. Pineapple Gee tries to stop Bella, but it's too late. Bootleg Pikachu already won. But then, there they were, standing bright for all to see. It was a established that the, the SS Bardell could life. travel through time, so maybe the that was from a different time all period. Store managers. Rat Lord Alley. As shots rang out, Bella dove behind a display of decorative hand towels. She thudded into something solid but soft and heard a low grunt. Looking up, she realized the body that stopped her momentum was none other than Archduke Flans Ferdinand, who had come to buy various home goods. 
Bella was taken aback by the man's fancy garb and wise eyes. Feeling deep inside that this was the person she was looking for. This man would lead her to the third chaos pencil. And one step closer to realizing yet. her dream. Bella then flew out of the target on her magical flying crockpot. Right behind her was Archduke Flans Ferdinand on his flying bathroom suite. Somehow. Pineapple he raised from the dead in reversed time. Pineapple he then decided to quit his job and be a free lad. But he fell off a cliff and died. And the gang watched. But Pineapple he said. I'm okay. Thanks for asking. Meanwhile. In a white void at an empty desk with a chair in the middle of it. A notebook lays open and a chaos pencil lays beside it. Just then. A mysterious force picks up the pencil and starts writing. I think you're right. I mean, there we tried to have a plot. As the we scene tried really fades hard. Back to target. This never went anywhere. The chaos pencils <laughs> that were once controlling the situation were now flying all over the place and sliced some of the employees. <laughs> disintegrating them on touch. I'm sorry you all had to see that. Can I offer you a trusty frying pan as compensation? Rit Lord Ollie howled as they smacked one of the chaos pencils away from a terrified employee. It flew up and stuck in the ceiling. <laughs> it can also be used as a drying pan. They added with a wry smile. Then the drying pan started to fade away. Which was a big issue. Suddenly the chaos pencils fade away and are nowhere to be seen, wait. Weren't those missing for like millennia? Eh. Whatever. I don't get paid enough for this anyway, so. The chaos pencils are now gone again. Even the only one that we knew about. Nobody really seems to care about this though. Chapter 2, Bella Crockpot Boogaloo. Carly returns home from her music conference and discovers the chaos Carly that has should. ensued. After hearing right? the game's so wild fun. story, she reaches into her bag and pulls out the chaos pencils. Oh. Y'all looking for these? Grandma Chili was too busy Neo, making how another are you, jump my scare pie. Welcome. The gang, aside from Grandma Chili, is thrilled. Before There's Carly hands over the effect. pencils, she says, Put Daddy Before Freddy I on. give them to you, I want Daddy you Freddy have to promise to use these to save the Titanic and Flans Ferdinand. Deal? Bella nods and nuzzles Carly's hand affectionately. <laughs> Carly gives her pets because she's such a sweet baby. It's probably out there already, Flannel. Laying the pencils on the table in front of her. By the way, Neo, this she is says, the wonderful story that Chad has written over the last Bella five and a half hours. Bella immediately them off the table. She's been a cat too long. She couldn't resist. Hey. Uh, That's all you need to know, I'm Bart. I'm PK Chuck. That's it. That's a deal. You can absolutely trust me. It's about the extent Grandma of Chili the plot says they'll watch over breach. everyone on the journey. Rit Lordily takes one of the pencils and draws a portal to 1912. Carly cautions them. I have reason to believe that our arch enemy but PK Legku is in 1912. The gang steps through the portal and onto the deck of the Titanic. It is nighttime and the air chilly. Back in modern time, <laughs> Carly goes to take a nap. <laughs> the gang is on the Titanic and all of a sudden Bella notices a unique face. Bella slowly walks towards Pocket the cat, giving a friendly meow. It is the alligator. The freezing air whips around them and a young man with stunning blue eyes runs up to them. Holds up a painting of a lovely girl in nothing but a beret. And shouts. Have you seen this girl? They all stare for a moment. Confused. <laughs> Bootleg PK Cho shakes his head. No. But she sure is smoking hot. If you find her, let me know. They all slowly back away as he says. Wait. No. It's a serious question. Grammy Chili is offended by the young man's sudden and startling <laughs> approach. Oh, it's, it's doing its job purse. then, Neo. Obviously impatient. <laughs> he pushes past them in a huff. They stand a moment and then shake off the shocking turning their eyes to the watchtower. Do you know where the captain of this ship is? Quickly reinstates bootleg PK Chu. Leo replies. I think he's in the front of the ship. But why would you want to go there? The gang quickly runs to the bridge so they can warn the captain and crew about the impending doom. Unfortunately, they just laughed at them all and told them to get out. Meanwhile, Pocket the Cat and Bella are having conversations about life and the hell of a day Bella has had. Bella decides to sneak into the captain's quarters and steal his outfit so she can impersonate him and order the crew to turn the ship around. 
the rest of the gang bursts into the ship's cabin. The real captain is there. He turns around to reveal none other than but PK Legku. Out of the fog came the time traveling ship. The uh, S. Yeah, it's so simple. S. I'm so sorry, Neo. to ensure the safety of the mission with her mighty. I feel like this. I was here the whole deck. time and I'm still confused. Yes. S. S. Bardowl floats alongside the Titanic and the gang quickly tethers them together. Bard pulls the Titanic off of its course, causing it to narrowly miss the huge iceberg. Yeah, the gang knew that they could not Ferdinand. defeat but PK Legku in this time period. So they quickly used their chaos pencils to return to the modern world. Unfortunately, they were followed. Chapter 3, The Chaotic Finale They arrived back finding themselves in Granny Chili's sitting room. As the gang adjusted to their new, but familiar, surroundings, <laughs> they were happy to discover that preventing the sinking of the Titanic saved plans. But P.K. Legku, <laughs> angered at the gang and ignoring this huge reveal that was built up to in the last chapter, transforms into his true form. Ultra underscore but P.K. Legku and destroys the water palace as he rises from the debris with one goal. To stop the gang from escaping. Also, he stole the Chaos Pencil and decides to destroy the gang permanently. Unfortunately, he botches the write-up and creates a weapon that has the capability of destroying himself. Whoops. Whoops. After they celebrate preventing the death of Flans and saving the Titanic, they mysteriously get teleported in front of the Water Palace. Carly appears with all six Chaos Pencils inside a fanny pack around her waist. Oh, it's Arena is fanny. She used the pencils to give Grandma Chili the power to create the ultimate jump scare pie. That's sad. Grandma Chili offers a slice of the ultimate jump scare pie to Ultra underscore but Pikalegku. <laughs> he eyes it and takes it. Just as he's about to take a bite. The S. S. Bardowl came swooping in and smushed Ultra underscore but Pikalegku with her big OL poop deck. <laughs> Carly decided that the Chaos Pencils were far too powerful. So she snapped them in half and ground them into sawdust. Then they all sat down to enjoy some surprise Granny Chili Pie. The End Epilogue The holodeck program ended that moment. Out walks Jay Chili. Thrilled that he had discovered a way to stop the Titanic from sinking and saving his best friend Flans. Now he would need a PK to his grandma. A cat and several other people to make it become a reality. Can he do it? Out in the distance. <laughs> Jay Chili could hear the soft singing. I've got the largest poop deck. Uh-huh. <laughs> That's it. That's the story. <gasps> Allie, I am proud. I'm really freaking proud. I'm really excited. I'm excited for you to start streaming the big old poop deck. There it is. Chat writes story number three complete the trilogy i mean it could become more than a trip but right now it's a trilogy a trilogy of stories that totally make sense they totally make perfect sense they're totally rational and make lots of sense i swear <laughs> ali's gonna stream yeah i'm really freaking excited it's gonna be awesome what's the first game that you're gonna stream ali do you have a plan for the first game that you're gonna play also how's inscription going for you um while we're discussing that, is there anyone that we'd like to raid this evening? Because we have arrived at the end of our bonus hour. We've arrived. By the time we get the raid set up and I say goodbye, it will be that time. Let's see. I have a feeling there's very few people that I know online. <gasps> Let's see, Hamie Jamilton, Rainmaker. Oh, Rain what is Rainmaker doing on so late? Same sailing. Oh, oh. That scared the bejesus out of me. Cheese it? Is that is that somebody that's streaming? Neo? Is that is that a streamer recommendation? Oh. Flannel Source says you're not allowed to boost for 10 seconds. Okay, you got it. No boosting for 10 seconds. None. No boost. Only slow. <laughs> only, only slow. Slow pedaling. That's something about. Oh, yeah. <laughs> my cheese, it's next. <laughs> Actually, when I took my, my short break to run to the restroom earlier, I munched on some of those. 
<laughs> Salem, we can definitely raid Salem. Salem's awesome. And I believe Salem is coming up on the end. He had like a challenge that he did where he streamed every day for a year. And I think he, uh, I think he's near the end. I think he's up to like the last two weeks or something. Day 340, 340, 346 of, I guess, three, 365. So he's he's almost at the end of, of his year. That's really exciting. Going for a Cheez-It sponsorship now? I mean, Cheez-It, if you want to sponsor me, I, I find Cheez-Its to be extremely delicious. And they really hit the spot at about 4 a.m. 4 a.m. I like to call Cheez-It hour. We can make that a thing. Late night Cheez-Its. I can be the spokesperson for late night Cheez-Its. Who makes Cheez-Its? I don't know. I'm sure one of, like, the food companies. Kraft or... Nabisco. I don't know. <laughs> Only things that I enjoy. I enjoy Cheez-Its. I also had some delicious Coca-Cola tonight. Coke. What are you doing? We got look at this perfect sponsorship opportunity. Imagine if my face were right there. Look at all this open look at all this free real estate, Coke. Look right here. My face could be there. All that room for my face. <laughs> you hate Coca-Cola. I, I enjoy Coca-Cola. Um my favorite is Coke Vanilla. I really like Coke Vanilla, although now that I use it mostly for making mixed drinks, I don't enjoy it as much for just drinking. Okay, so we're going to raid the wonderful, the wonderful Saint of Salem. Um, we're just about at that time, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bid you all adieu for this evening, but we will be back tomorrow, and tomorrow is viewer requested game night. We are playing a game that was requested by the wonderful, the wonderful Carly. Uh, we're playing There Is No Game. And it also has a subtitle, Wrong wrong Dimension or something. I know I have it on the Switch. But we are playing There Is No Game, Wrong Dimension, the Switch version. Uh, that is our viewer requested game for this week. And that's what we'll be playing at 9 p.m. EST tomorrow. It's going to be good. This game, I've seen a tiny bit of this game somewhere. And I know it's it's really funny, and I have a feeling that we're really going to enjoy it. I have, a, I have a good feeling about this one. But on that note, thank you so much, everyone, for stopping by this evening, for participating in Chat Rates a Story. I have been utterly, utterly impressed by the creativity of this, this community tonight. Well, I mean, just in general, but tonight especially. This has been such a blast. Thank you so much, everyone, for hanging out. For stopping by for contributing Final ideas source thinks it's time for a bean oh. boozled jelly bean you had you had to get oh you know what it's the last one it's the last one the last bean it's the last bean oh no bard it was great having you and everybody everybody in chat now and that was in chat uh, i do have a whole nother box of them so it's not really the last bean it's just the last bean in this box and it's potentially a barf one It's a barf one. No. No. We were so close. We were so close. I missed the garbage can. We were so close. Um, you know what? That's not, that's not barf. That's dead fish. I thought it was the barf color. That's dead fish. Hmm. Hmm. No, I wasn't going to crack another one of these, but I need to wash my mouth out. Mmm. Coke. It's good for washing down bad beans. <laughs> that could be the commercial. Oh. Oh, it's so bad. Alright, I'm going to start the countdown. Oh. Flannel, thank you so much for that final, that final bad bean. And thank you for being here, hanging out with us. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate you, Flannel. Bard, 
you are you are a peach and i am so happy that you were able to stop by and hang out i hope everything works out with um with your work and having to get tested and all that stuff but thank you so much for being here with us please get some sleep everyone that's that's up late please get some sleep orange have a fantastic evening thank you so much for hanging out with us i'm so glad you're back i missed you while you were gone neo thank you i know you got here toward the end but thank you so much i really appreciate it have a great day i believe it's daytime for you have a great day carly please go get some sleep you you need some rest i really appreciate you staying up so late to help us write a story very much so but please get some rest thank you so much for being here apple thank you so much for all your help i always appreciate it Allie, i'm so excited for you to start streaming thank you for hanging out with us tonight uh, I think that might be everybody that's here. Brady headed off to sleep. Uh, I think it's everybody. All right. Have a great night, everyone. I'll see you if you're able to stop back tomorrow for um, viewer requested game night at 9 p.m. EST. I know there's ducks over my face right now, but eight seconds to raid. See you later, everyone. <laughs>